Hey, hey, ah, ha, ha, here we go. How are, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? Um, welcome back, welcome back to the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. We've just swung open our doors. The Apple Gem Blonde on the blade is gone. The Beer of Moret is gone. The Heineken on the blade is gone. Ah, uh, Davis, how are we doing? Hi, Simon. Hi, Shannon. Looks like a seven forget it. Ah, oh, do you know? I've only just done the thumbnail. Hello, Daniel Bill. Daniel Bill. Um, so understanding. I mean, Daniel Bill has given me some awesome beers over the last few months. And just like that, as things go, two dud ones in a row. It was just a shame. Just a shame how this thing, these things happen. But here we go. There we go. This, um, I'm sure Daniel won't mind too much. I think it's all down to honesty. Um... As long as I'm honest, I think you guys are going to tune in. This, on the other hand, is tomorrow morning. So I'm going to release the video for this tomorrow. This is Pogo from Wild Beer, from that Krups machine. And my patience is just, just only a little bit, only a little bit, but my patience is starting to um, wear a little bit thin with this machine. I've got to be perfectly honest. Um, I, I put it on Friday. I took, put the keg in on Friday, the little top thing, and you know it's been it's been okay for three. Or, it's been in there for three or four days, and surely by now you can pour a beer without it. Never mind. I'm not here to complain. I promise you. How are we all doing? Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. I've been looking forward to this one all day. How do? How we doing? How do? Bobby Moog. Um, going to be going another good Stone Crow live, Peter B. Surely it could have settled. Um, how was the cavalry, mate? Oh, the cavalry was great. I'll tell you what I went today. Um, I went for a steak. Hey, hello, Tree Roar. How are we doing? How are we doing? Even as I hope you're well, mate. I'm okay, Cal. I'm okay. How was the pub cavalry? It looked lovely. Um, I was just halfway through your first pub pint video. Are you still full with that dinner? Well... I had that at 12 o'clock, lunchtime, and I was having an Indian at 6 o'clock in the night. It got delivered about half past 6, quarter to 7, luckily for me. I had about 7 hours in between eating, and I was still a bit like... Uh, yeah, Daniel Bell, yeah, that was the manager who used to run the ship, hotel, uh, Green King Pub. Now he's working for Marston's. Stupid o'clock here. Hello, Darren. Hi Simon, how are you going mate? Negan, I'm okay my friend. Um, your next beer in the blade, Simon. Somebody told me there's Edelweiss. Edelweiss Weizen. And I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, I fancy that. Hello from Birmingham. Mac, how are we doing Mac? Alan Mead, happy Tuesday. Uh, Stone the Crows, hello all. Um, what am I drinking tonight? I am drinking a Pogo from Wild Beer Company. been brewed with orange and guava and it's a pale ale I thought that's perfect for tonight because last week I had a bit too much to drink and I started ranting again didn't I I had a, had a drink started ranting rah, 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 as I do and I thought I'm just gonna stick to the 4.2 percent beers now hello Ripper from Germany I'm gonna try and pronounce this guten abend there we are Wild beer, a hit and miss for you. We love a rant. Hello from Grimsby. Alan Mead, great channel for support. Alan Mead, Alan Mead. I'm... Did I get your super chat, Alan Mead? I'm blooming, I'm getting hopeless. Uh, happy Tuesday, Stone the Crows. Hello, all. Alan Mead. Thank you very much for the £2.29 super chat. If you want to donate to the channel, you can either super chat us, hit the super chat, dollar sign down here, or you can become a channel member if you want. That's the join button where you join, uh, become a channel member, and then you pay a little subscription every single month. Hello, Simon. You wouldn't get on a pogo stick after that cavalry by Richie Rich. No, I would not. <laughs> I ate a lot, mind. I ate a lot. I did. I ate a lot. X, Pimp My Sniper, Shannon, Dave, Paul... 
Owen, Alan, we're all here tonight, Richie Rich, we're all in the house tonight, 136 people, 140, Daniel Bale's in, Jack's in, Lee's in, David Brent's in, loads, you're all in, The Raven, Sobieski's in, Ripper, um, we're all in, Glenn, Liam, Lee, we're all in, we're all in, where's um, the one... Um, Negan, Negan's in. We're all in tonight. We've got 150 people tuned in. Can we have had a coffee cream meal? Yes, yes, I have. Yeah, really nice from Max and Spencer's. Hit the like button. Can we do, can we go big? Can we go big? There's 150 people tuned in. Can we do 100 likes? There's 42 likes at the moment, 43. Hit the like button down below. Can we just go straight off the bat tonight and do 150, sorry, sorry, 100 likes. Hit the like button down below. Let's get, here we go, we're nearly up to 60 already. This would, the Raven's feeling big time. I'm feeling, I'm feeling well up for this tonight, I really am. I haven't had a drink in three days. Oh, actually, I was at the Calvary yesterday. I had a pint in the Calvary yesterday. But when I mean drink, I mean like, four, five, six, seven pints. Well, I, I mean, having one pint, it, like, it doesn't matter to me. Like, you know, I'm normally used to having a good, good session. Hi, Simon. Uh, were you particularly surprised at my first beer pour on the Krupp sub? Oh, you want, we, well, you just seen the picture of mine then. It, it just, yours was amazing, Neil Long. Yours was amazing. Uh, Simon's kid. I, <laughs> yeah. Right, where were we with the likes? 171 people tuned in, 68 likes. Come on, we can do this. We can do 100 likes. Hit the like button down below. Come on, or we're gonna have a night. Should we go back to how things were? Shall we go back to how things were? I'm missing, I'm missing doing press ups for you guys. I'm missing all the banter. I'm missing all the stories. And do you know what it's taken? It's taken a few days for me not to have a session. And I've gone, I'm missing it. I'm missing the banter, the laugh, the, the Tuesday nights, the how things were. But in order to do this, we gotta get, we gotta get the live streams back where they were. We really gotta get the live streams back where they were. So you, you guys need to hit the like button. We gotta do, we gotta do what we gotta do. You all know what it takes for me to do press ups and you you all know what it kind of you know we're all gonna, we're gonna get to it we're gonna get back to that kind of fun and game stream that we that we used to do we're on 88 likes come on guys let's pump this tonight get it shared get it out there 89 people liked it come on we got 10 more to go little bit of a like come on get it going nine more to go hit the like button i feel like a trader i feel like i'm selling carpets on the side of cardiff dock Come on, let's get it 200 likes. Come on, hit that like button down below. Let's do it. 94. Mm. 99 likes. If we can do this, I tell you what, that will be probably one of the biggest records ever. I've gone from 48 likes. There we go. 48 likes to 101 likes. And that's of two or three minutes of just driving it. Just driving, driving, driving. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Um, no, my, my Mel was just saying, don't start the live stream. Something's gone on in somewhere or other. Um, no disrespect, of course. But do I go and watch the news or do we all get on with our lives and have a live stream? Do we, do we, you know, although it's awful, it's absolutely awful what's going on. Um, do we get on with it? Do we get on with it? Channel has 39.1 subscribers. Um, well done. Live stream. That's live stream. You know what? The world at the moment, the world at the moment is full of misery. Full of misery. I can't take any more misery. I can't take any more misery. Let's live stream it, shall we? Get on with it. Get on with the live stream. I'll check. I'll wake up in the morning with a bad head. I'll be like that. Right. Okay. Let's have a read of the internet. And I'll probably be like, oh my God, it was horrendous. But I got a duty. My duty here is for you. Here is my duty right here. 
Have I, oh, Mac Finity. Have I ever reviewed um, Russian beer? Yes. Uh, I went to Spain. I went to the Barcelona Craft Beer Festival two years ago. Little got a beer festival, have they? I'll be up there tomorrow. I'll be up there tomorrow, Neil Long. Brilliant. It is absolutely appalling news. Appalling, appalling news. All I can do is carry on. There's not a lot, there's not a lot, of, awful lot I can do over here, unfortunately. Oh, um, Alex Summerfield, really interested for the score tonight. Can you keep me updated with the score, Alex Summerfield? Brentford versus Fulham. Personally, and I hope I don't offend anyone here, personally, I think Brentford are going to make it. I think they're going to make the Premier League. Not because they beat Cardiff. Um, I think Cardiff would have gone up a year early. If Cardiff went up, um, I think they would have gone up a year early. I think Neil Harris needs a year, build a bit of a side, go up to the Premier League, how they want to play. They would, I think they would have gone up too early. There's, no, there's never a bad time to go to the Premier League, but I think um, they, 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 you know, give him a year to sort his, his squad out now. I think, yeah, a little got craft beer fast. And did I watch the end of the Grand Prix? Yes, I did. I did. Um, it was very exciting, wasn't it? Leads him back up. I think they will lack a little bit of experience, which will be the issue later. Potentially saying that two on Brentford. Oh, I reckon Brentford are going to do it. It all depends on that Mitrovic. If Mitrovic is playing, he's such a crafty little player, that Mitrovic. If he's playing, there's always a goal in him. Alex, at least, 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 yeah, go on. Um, my pop over to Little. It, it's outside their back garden. Get over to Little, um, Daniel. Simon, uh, can you ask Leanne to come back in the front room and watch the live stream with me, please? Leanne? Leanne, can you come and watch the live stream, please? Come on, please. Back in the room. Come and watch the live stream. <laughs> Did you have your telly turned up? She's like that, looking around the room. Who's calling me? Who's calling me? I got, I got the bloody dinner on. <laughs> uh, you showed real fight in the second. You just kind of were unlucky. Dan, well... I've turned a little bit um, foil hat in my old age. I really have. Turned a little bit foil hat. And... Let me explain what I mean. I would put my mortgage, I'd put everything on Brentford winning tonight. The reason being is that, um, you know the parachute payments from the Premier League? Well, Swansea had three years, Cardiff only had two. So Cardiff's run out next year. If a team that gets relegated from the Premier League goes up in that time that they're still getting parachute payments... They go to the Premier League and then they get relegated again, like West Brom used to do, up and down, up and down, up and down. They, they're not entitled to parachute payments. It's the reason why Aston Villa stayed down for three years. It's the reason why... Probably stay down for three years. It's the reason why Swansea are kind of having a little flutter, all of a sudden going out. They will, they will all be pushing. Once, once that kind of parachute payment thing is up, then they push. It's a bit foil at. It is a bit foil at, but um, Simon hasn't used their parachute payments to pay the old owner, who is a new owner's mate out. Real dodgy deal, and we're in big trouble. We can't afford anything now. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? It's bad. Well, not didn't want to. Um... Couldn't afford to. Couldn't afford to. They go up. I'm going to League One confess season. Pompey will fly and it would have got automatic promotion, no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. How come um, they didn't even... Did they make the playoffs, Pompey? Cardiff will go up next year. Yeah, that, and that's the point. Two years, parachute payments are going to go up after two years. Swansea, I think who will win the league next year. Cardiff, Swansea... 
And who else um, will be out of their parachute payments? Who come down? Stoke. All of a sudden, Stoke City will turn amazing. Hull City with the other team. Hull City with the other team that um, three years, they went down, stayed down for three years, they went back up after three years. It's a pattern. Have a look, it's a pattern. Um, how are you? So I'm, I'm in the process of cooking the video in your really old craft beer kebab for release on my channel tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that video tomorrow um, because um, I want to be able to mix all these kebabs and, and do some barbecue. And I'm really into my barbecue at the moment. Um, if Cardiff were playing tonight, would you have taken the night off? Little Musgrave. Little Musgrave. No, I'm committed. I'm committed to this. Sorry, mate, Ox Oxford will get promoted next year. They can't afford to. The whole parish, they've got to stay down for two years in order for the parachute payments to run out. Then they go back up. Then they'll be entitled to get the parachute pay pay payments if they get relegated again. Do I follow Barrytown? Um, I used to. I used to be a big Barrytown fan years ago, but um, I think that team, um, that other team in the Welsh League, they're so strong now, it's LDS or something, LBS, something. They used to be like a massive name to this football club, but they're like full time, innit? Here he is, Jim McDonald. Um, there's a little bit of beer in the real. Oh, <laughs> no way! No way! The beer hooligan put a bit. Of, he's making a video. Beer hooligan. He's making a real old craft beer kebab. That sounds wicked. Uh, grill and swirl videos or stream Simon. What's this grill and swirl videos? What does that mean? Uh, you can't cook, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I can. Um, I, I, I'll, I, reckon, I reckon if I'm taught, I need a Jedi. I need a Jedi master, and that's the beer hooligan, to teach me how to cook. The basics. I need a Jedi Master to teach me, and I'll be the Padawan. <laughs> Barbecues and brews. I gotta learn for. I mean, uh, some people like my like my like blundering mess of like food videos because it's just honest. I've always been honest on the channel. I've never been anything different, you know. Um, I don't pretend to be like Gordon Ramsay. I'm not Joe Gordon Ramsay. I just have a go. As long as I got like instructions, I'm all right. Right, uh, low and slow. Uh, Jim, I went. I don't go. Hello, Leah. How are we doing? Mac, uh, mega mega session on the way now. Um. Have I tried have I tried the recent Cloudwater Triple IPA? No. No, never. I'll have to try. Fantastic. Al's kitchen. Hi Simon, now you how are you doing? Watch the Mason's pub video really good. Have you ordered the cider and Zypher Lager on the blade? No, I'm gonna get the lager, I think. I'm a chef, Simon. I'll teach you how to cook. Oh, and Alison, I mean, all whoever wants to teach me, send me, send me, um, send me the old kind of tuition things. That would be the best thing. It's on Beer Wolf. I'll have a look. It would be awesome if you could review the physics draft pull machine from Shark Tank. The physics. Draft pour machine from Shark Tank. Sean, um, I'd like to. Death of press ups this evening, yeah. <sighs> Burgers are easy and some sausage. We aren't expecting Michelin stars as long as it's edible and enjoy yourself. The, um, the, the, the Rasta Man lives. Have you seen my burger video I made the other week? where they sent me everything and all I had to do was put it in a pan. I put too much sauce in. It was all down my face. The sauce, put way too much sauce in. The burger. 
Lord's Brewing Company. Two pounds super chat. Hey man, how's it going, Simon? Great to see you. Hey John, how's it going, John? John, we gotta sort out a life. We gotta sort out a life. So Mario. Let's have a little read of your comment here. It's not looking good, my friend. Um, I'm sad for the situation for finding a new job and the racist situation that you and lots more. So I need to watch your show and have fun with the Czech beer, of course. Thank you, Simon. So, Vario, um, my sister-in-law's in the front room. She's um, She lives in Italy. She lives in Ferrara in Italy. Um, I might get her over in a bit to have a chat. Just for a bit of fun. Dave, were you off, Dave? I'm chatting with you all. We only just got started. What's my favourite beer? Um, my favourite beer? Oof, anything sessionable, really. Anything really, really tidy. Janine's in the house. Anything sessionable. Hello, Janine. Simon was back in one of my old local bars the other night and they had a craft bar upstairs. They had seven taps of... All new Brew York releases as well as incredible. Imperial Tom Kugel was absolutely incredible. I read the line below before I finished reading across. I went down. It was like a crossword then. I was reading words all over the place. Owen, um, that sounds amazing. So you, your normal bar's open and there's a craft bar upstairs. That's amazing. That is amazing. No, 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 no. Because she's absolutely anti-racist. Um... Atom Quantum State Session IPA. I've been seeing it in as, as an, and want to get it. I don't want to get it. It's rubbish, Kai. Do the best thing, Kai. Of course, I mean, if you've got a spare couple of quid, is, is buy it. Buy it. Be adventurous. Buy it. Try it. See what it's like. I've not tried it. Um, I quite like their um, Sheshwan Cat or whatever it was called. It was like Atom Sheshwan Cat. It was um, something like that. Um, it was very good. It was very good. Sebastian, how we doing? Um, we got 232 people in. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Chris the Butcher and friends. How are you doing? How are you doing, my friends? Um, <laughs> anyone tried this physics draft thing? Beers by Josh. Yeah, has anybody tried this new physics draft thing? That sounds good. Uh, Brentford haven't been in the top flight since 1947, Simon. They could be a good story for them, mate. Danny, I think they're going to make it. I think Brentford will make it tonight. Are they playing yet? Oh, it's only half past seven. It's a quarter to eight kickoff, isn't it? So maybe uh, maybe they'll get up um, by about 10 o'clock tonight. Daz, hi, Simon. Back to work tomorrow. If it's not a reason to drink now, it never will be, will it? No. Get drinking, Daz. Get drinking. Not good going back to work, is it? <laughs> um, 24 euros for 12 Guinness in the... Oh, yeah, that's £2 a can. It's not bad, I don't suppose, is it? I got a um, bit of a clogged up throat tonight, guys. Sorry. Highly recommend Baltica Number no. 6 Porter. Best Russian beer I've tried so far. That sounds really good. I've had the Baltica, you can buy it in Lidl's every now and again. The Baltica Lager, that's all right. Right, Marwood with Nail, really good question. What high street supermarket beer that would I advise to, for people to buy? Um, not craft stuff. Ooh. That's a really interesting question. So supermarket beer does not craft. Well, for me, that's easy. Um, two beers, either Cronbacher Pills or Warsteiner. And you can pick them up in Morrison's at the moment as part of a three for five pound deal. It is absolutely incredible. Or go to Lidl, go to Aldi and pick up their, their Visons or their Pilsners. Yeah, Pils, Perlenbacher. They're absolutely fantastic. For the money, you cannot beat it. Rheinbacker, Perlenbacker, excellent beer for the money, it really is. Right, 
JC7 is saying we should have at least three, 234 likes. Uh, and we're going to do Captain Meets Adventures as well. Um, and James enjoyed the Sam Martin video. So, we're going to start off with... Where are you from? What are you drinking? Where are you from? What are you drinking? That's my Captain Meets Adventures. Let us know. Give us a big comment down below. Where are you from? What are you drinking? Come on. Huddersfield. Dan's having his food. Birmingham. Stella. Ireland. Corona. Ontario. Cornwall. Wirral. Bridgend. Hello, Bridgend. Cliftonville. Um, San Miguel. Belfast. Seville, Orange, Gin, New York, Texas, Wembley, London, Pride, Guinness. I'm reading these fast as I possibly can. Amsterdam, um, Liverpool, Porth Maddock, Finland, Barnsley, Austria, Poland. <laughs> um, in the Clee Drinking Cider, Liverpool, Box of Gold Nails, Dubai, Derbyshire, after Gemini Wrexham, um, Neath. Poonju, Boddington, San Miguel, Sheffield, <laughs> McEwen's. Oh, I got indigestion. Um, Old Crafty N. Uh, West Virginia, Huddersfield, Drinking Pilsner, Birmingham. Tullmore, Tullymore View, I'm um, Tullymore something, technically Bounce Barker. Bitburger Clone. Um, Josh is asking, Lord's Brewing Company, are they open? Splot Cardiff is in Barry. Indy Red, Aberdeen, Stella in Oldham. Where was from, who was from Wrexham? I went there in 2010. West Virginia, Ellen, ne Nepal, Blackpool, Vienna, Putleli, Butty Back, Cambridgeshire, Stockton, Skeg, N New Jersey. I knew you said Skegness then. Um, Torps on the home brew. Uh, Mango on the run. I've heard of that beer. For the Dune. For, for the <laughs> for the dances. um USA founders all the IPA Mountain Mama I love a good Mountain Mama too um Barry Brewdog Punk IPA Mr Loft Ladder is in Barry drinking Punk IPA Bluebirds Bluebirds Beijing homemade homemade pastry stout oh. <sighs> Sam Brooks um front man next level brewing Mac Franklin is uh Mr Pogo Drinking Pogo, Fuller's, Kilburn, Barry, Rubicue from Barry. Uh, I miss, I, I'm trying to get all these out. Belfast, Budweiser Car Wash. <laughs> Brilliant. 251 people tuned in. Right. Whew. So, hey, up, Simon, how are we doing? Knee, uh, drinking Prince, Prancing Pony, Black Ale. Simon, you should review the new S4 really some cracking beers. Oh, I really want to do that. Owen Alderson, I love their beer. Black lemon sauce. Who's having some Jim McDonald tonight? Um, Brewdog. <laughs> uh, good evening, Simon. Missed that one. Sorry, so many comments. Delight of the Brooklyn Lager is on tabs in Brains Pubs now. That's interesting. Went to a Brains Pub today. Cooper's Carvery. It was closed. Um, Jim McDonald. Ha, ha um, Sink. Okay, sink where? Into my into my beer. Sink the beer. Good evening, Simon. Hope you're all very well. How's the weather in Wales? Bit overcast. Quite happy with that. Don't want it too hot. Don't want the sun blazing, blazing on my face this time of night. Um, we're going to go for 200 likes. Alex Summerfield. Should we do that? 200 likes. Let's slow it all down. 250 people tuned in. Can we do 200 likes? Hit the like button down below. Hit the like button down below. Can we do 200 likes? Down there. Like button, 200 likes, let's do it. Under 80, come on, under 80. Under 80 likes, come on guys, I'm gonna pour a blooming beer out this machine. Who likes my washing thing, yeah. <laughs> Come on, we got 191. Come on, we're nine likes away from 200 likes. Come on, let's do it. Got a peg here as well. Why last there, I don't know. This thing's driving me nuts.
I've been a barman, as some of you know, I've been a barman for years. And this machine, I'm just, I'm just starting to lose my temper a little bit. Just, just only, only a little bit, you know? Only a little, you know, I'm like, keep the nozzle as close as you can to glass and you possibly can on the sub. What am I doing here now? Oh, yeah, yeah. I better do that. And <laughs> right, 265 people tuned in. Itchy nose, itchy nose. All the money for a pint of froth. John, it is... Um... Do you know when it was... Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. When... Um... Oh, I'm going to read Big Kev's comment and I'm going to try and come back to this perfect draft machine because... Um... I want to talk about it. Uh, it's about time Brewdog produced a decent New England IPA for once. After watching your Brewdog video earlier, my favourite style, I like other Brewdog beers, though, so not hating on Brewdog. Yeah, I'm trying to be fair. I did the whole shouty thing, um, but I, I, I then felt a bit deceived. Where do I start? Do I do the perfect draft? Right, quickly on the perfect draft. Um, I got it for Christmas last year. I had a load of kegs. For Christmas, you know what it's like, shiny, new, loved it. Just, I'm just, um, do you know when you have something for a while, of course, the, the gloss comes off it, doesn't it? It's like a, you know, your old best wireless radio back in the day. After a while, you drop it, you knock it over, get a few scratches on it. it, it it's not like, it's not your, your baby anymore. And I, I got through that kind of initial, had this Krups machine, my baby type of thing. The video's doing me fantastically well. But it's not, I mean, I'm doing a live feed. The last thing I want when I'm doing a live feed, because it interrupts me and everything else, is to be pouring beer with a load of foam in it. Because it just, it, it, it interrupts the flow of the video, it interrupts what I'm trying to kind of do here and have some fun with you guys. It takes the polish off the mood. Um, I just wanted to buy, I've had a couple of beers that, are, that have been perfect, they've been spot on. Then I've had beers that have not been so spot on. It's just, just, just getting on my nose a little bit, up my nose a little bit. Hey Simon, uh, Nastaravi means cheers. Shvet, how we doing? Nastaravia to you too. Um, I think with beer machines, you have to go with the most expensive one, unfortunately. Big Kev, yeah, that that blade cost me a lot of money, and it's really good. It's really good. It's a top-quality machine. Wet the glass, 45-degree angle, place the nozzle on the sub right up to the glass till it touches. I'll give that a go next time. Well, the glass is wet, isn't it? So, bloody fly, yeah. Um... Perfect draft is awesome. Yeah, I like that machine as well. Right, um, Brewdog. That was it, Brewdog. I'm, gonna have a, I'm not going to have a Brewdog rank, but I'm going to... Um, Moss is now from Savario. Sorry to be political, Simon, but we asked if... Do you think that is a problem? There are politics on that. I don't know. Do you know this? A blower on this fire. Come on. Um... Sorry, Savari, I, I don't, I can't, I'm struggling with that one. I, I don't know in terms of like, is it Italian politics or British politics? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, no, I wish I'd have Jeffrey Lover. Mr. C's. Mate, that new Bruno Double Punk is absolutely horrible. Right, Sega Socks. Sega Socks. It's what I'm talking about. Um... I feel a bit deceived. The Double Punk came out a month or two ago on BrewDog's website. I bought it. They brought out a nice version. They know how to make a nice beer, BrewDog. They know how to make a nice beer. So, of course, everybody goes out on Untapped, YouTube, all these social sites. They give it a rave review. 
And then they launched the beer then a couple of months later. Completely different beer, so I'm told. I've not had it. They launch it to... It's a different beer. It's a completely different beer. And I, I just find that... You know, it's embarrassing for me because I've gone, this is amazing, this beer is absolutely fantastic. And then they bring out another batch. Mine and Tessa was terrible. I'm starting to think the supermarket's ruining the job. Um, Sega Socks. I, I just think that... Um, I got it all behind you in the bag. Yeah, no wonder I can't find my bottle openers. <laughs> a point on me. Like you said to me, mate, you have to be truthful about all the beers you drink. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be completely truthful about all the beers you drink. So, um, I feel that there's a tact going on. Brewers are bringing out their first versions of a beer. Terrific knowing that it's going to get a good rating star rating on untapped or whatever and then and then the beer gets diluted over the months and years and i just think that's that's really bad here's kimmy over here i got an italian man watching kim savadio savadio's watching savadio in italy yeah she's saying ciao ciao savadio uh, what's the glass behind you? The German one. I had a pint of it in Rome. Forgot the name now. This is um, Red Brau. Is it worth it? I've never had anything from Vault City. Talk about Sierra Nevada Parallel, please. Sierra Nevada Parallel. I've not had it in years. Not had it in years. Um, so many other beers to try. I've reviewed it a couple of times. Oh, this one. The Vickel. Brewery's Vickel. Oh, this one. Uh, Bayarutha Brew House. Half litre. Can't wait to get into that one. What is the, what is the absolute IPA in your opinion? God, is that style? If that's style, I'm going to say New England IPA. It took a long time for me to warm up to that style, but I absolutely love it now. Uh, just so people know, is on of the other beers likes to be hard to others. No voucher code for Jim McDonald. Um, have you had Great Lakes Beer Company? I haven't had a Great Lakes Beer in. Ages BC beer reviews. Oh, I've had some Great Lakes. Put in into YouTube, um, Real Ale, Great Lakes, and you'll see my videos pop up. I haven't had a Great Lakes beer. I think I had some kind of stout or porter from them years ago. Really good. Ah, what's my, what's my um, best individual beer? Best individual IPA beer. God, that is absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. Although, I will say, um, I reviewed Foggy Window by... Oh. The other day. Foggy Window. Broccoli. Who makes broccoli? Who makes broccoli from that beer company in America? Foggy Window, double IPA. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible beer. A little bit of bitterness coming through. Sorry, British pubs have two rules about talking. No politics, no religion. Yeah. Monkish. Do you realise how lucky you are to try Monkish beer? I mean, really, so jealous. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, very lucky. I've got loads of, loads of their cans in this. It's just incredible. Incredible. Uh, Steve. Steve and Chris. Amazing people. Sending them over from America and then Steve sending from Manchester. Absolutely brilliant. Simon, how about a session where you review the same beer as you at the same time to see if we extract 
the same notes and flavours as we do. Matt King, that's a good idea. Oi, oi, Simon, Mal and Kim. Lancashire Lass, that's a good idea. We could, um, we could do that. Monkish beer. That was what I was looking at earlier. There he is! Dave, I've noticed. Yeah, you've got it there, mate. You've got it there. You've got a tick next to your name. I'm like, I seen it this morning. I was looking at one of your videos. Like, Dave's got a tick. I want a, I want a tick. <laughs> I want a tick next to my name. Dave, that's amazing. I was like, what? Dave's like, you know, official blue van man. How you doing, Dave? How you doing, mate? Blue Van Man's back. Yep, he's surely is. He's back. He's having a beer. What are you drinking, Dave? What are you drinking in the Stone Crow? What is your beer of choice tonight? I'm drinking off the old beer machine over there. I've got an, um, an orange and papaya um, pale ale, about 4.2. Um, as, as we had a chat on WhatsApp the other day, um, I'm going to try and stick my ABVs down a little bit lower as to not make an absolute buffoon of myself on a Tuesday night. Because I can, I can just get, I can just go away with the fairies and, um, you know, drink and get drunk and, <laughs> and, and start ranting about stuff. And we don't want to do that, do we? All good, buddy. Just a Fosses. It's all I got in. Ah, no, Fosses Foss is, Foss is fine. Fosses is fine. The Stone Crow pub, virtual pub, is not about craft beer. I've drunk Pabs Blue Ribbon, lots of beer from Aldi, lots of beer from Lidl. Um, um, Danny saying big up to the Blue Van Man. Yeah. Um, it, it's not, it's about, it's about just having a chat. It's about me sitting here for a few hours having a chat. Regardless of what you're drinking. You could be drinking wine, Cider, whatever. It's a pub. You can drink what you want to drink. Oh, the cheap US beers. Pabs in bad. I tell you what, I really enjoyed them. Them Pabs Brew Ribbon beers, I got them from Tesco. They were really good. For the Pilsner, like, like some kind of Pilsner. I put it in the fridge, stone cold. <clears throat> Lovely, on a hot day. Brilliant. Do you like an all-day breakfast in this pub? Lancashire Lass. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, some of you might have seen that I did a, um, cause the pubs have opened back up in Wales finally. Um, I've done a, uh, Carvery video. I released it today. I only filmed it yesterday. Released it today. I'm going to do a lot more of that. I'm gonna, I've decided to do a lot more of that. The views are just there. Love doing the beers. I will always do the beers, but I'm going to do like, I'm going to go back to, well, I never really dropped it. It's just, I couldn't go anywhere to get any of this stuff. So... I'm going to start doing like, you know, weather spoons. They have like theme days. Like they have like tonight was steak night. Wednesday is something. Thursday, I think is curry club. Friday is something else. But I'm going to do these theme nights now from weather spoons. That's going to be my next kind of adventure. Get out with a camera. Best tip if Dave's still watching, Blue Van Man. Um, just get in, go to your local weather spoons about 12 o'clock, set up your camera in the corner, somewhere quiet, order your food on your phone, and just press record when it comes, and bang, there it is, start reviewing it. People love it, Dave. People absolutely love kind of stuff that they can relate to. I'm, I'm, I'm saying stuff now, and Dave's the master of this. Um, stuff that they can relate to. Normal, normal stuff people can relate to. I love doing that. Um, I'm glad everything's back to normal so we can get on with it. Um, there's another channel coming up, coming up on the rails, Dave. Have you seen them? They're called um, Food Review Club. And they've got this massive sponsorship deal. And they're travelling around the whole of the UK taking recommendations for, like, the best kebab house in Cheltenham or the best curry house in Glasgow or they've been to Portsmouth and... They're basically like road tripping it, road tripping it, like like going to all these amazing like kebab out and standing out talking to the locals and 
he is that guy is killing it at the moment and i'm just thinking but he's got a camera man or a camera woman and that's what i'm lacking that's what i'm lacking i've got to do it all myself unless you're holding your camera like this talking you've got one arm holding your food how, how are you meant to kind of like eat your food and, 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 and film at the same time um dave's got it right though dave's got it right doing it in his van bang all the food bang blue van man pff, job done that that's a really good kind of recipe but that that recommendation thing going round food club is ace he's great his wife is the cameraman he uses recommendations yeah that's all he do that's all he do so so he's interacting with his kind of like followers someone will say oh man this this um this place in cheltenham's award-winning i'm saying cheltenham because he, he, he was there yesterday or the day before and um He's just, yeah, he's just doing fantastically well with it. He really is. And I, I just think that there must be places in Wales that have won awards. And I should, I should get round and, um, and do, some, do some maybe stuff around Wales first. And maybe go to Bristol and whatever. Rather than just doing McDonald's and Burger King and KFC and, and stuff like that. Leah. I have to go in the shower. Don't have too much fun without me. Be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> no worries, Leah. No worries at all. I'll get myself a beer while you um, sort yourself out in the shower. Um, I had a few, whoops. I had a few foggy windows, Simon, in my back seat of my first car with my girlfriend back in the early 90s. Big Kev. <laughs> That's the way, son. That's the way. Yeah, Andy, we have to wear masks now as well as on the bus. Yeah, yeah, it's all gone mask mad, haven't it? Hey, you're a married man. Right. I have the wife film you. Yeah, I mean, that's an answer. Get my Mel to just go full time. Get Mel, get Mel full time. Just travel around. We'd have to be back for half three, though, to pick the kids up. <clears throat> How's your family, mate? I hope you and your family's doing well with everything. Keep doing what you're doing because it's class. Dixon Cider, thank you very much. How are we doing? Um, a collab being come in. My last collab was with um, Glen Averick Brewery just before the lockdown, and it was just a massive, massive success. Um, the Stone the Goes. Really, really successful beer. Um, I need to line something up. I need to line something up. I might, I might just go back and have a chat with Brains and see if they want to just, just me turn up with a camera. Maybe, maybe brew something. I don't know. Do something in the new brewery. Simon's pub crawl. Go around to the brewers and pubs around Wales. Does yesterday's jocks count as a mask? <laughs> uh, have you had vocation love and hate amazing beer? Yes, great beer. Really enjoy that one. Simon, an idea how I can get a hold of Pliny the Younger in the UK. Beers by Josh. It was very difficult to get. Um, I'm here to watch Simon and not get into silly spats with others. Brilliant, Dave. Brilliant. Fantastic. Cool. Um, yeah, new policy. And this is off the back. I've had a chat with Dave. Um, this is this is a new policy. Um I see lots of the comments, but I seem to miss, you know, the app mentioning. I don't read them because I think people are just talking and being nice to one another. But if I spot, like, any nastiness, then I'm just going to... I just want, you know, I just want people to get on you. I don't want anyone coming on just to kind of rile things up. I don't think it's right. We should all be here having a beer. So if I see any of it... I've got my... I'm, I'm just going to start blocking. And that's, that's, I've thought about it. I never wanted a block. Never wanted a block. But I really... Yeah, DB5. Yeah, come on, non-drinking. Um, I don't want any, like... I, I just want everybody to get on. It's a virtual pub. We're all having fun. Um, if I see any of it, I'm just going to get on with the, old, um, with the old block. I never wanted to do it. But I've given it months. I've given it months and months and months. Come on, guys. Let's all have a bit of fun. It's a good laugh. Right, let's have a read of this one. You never blocked Declan during Declan game. I, I think this is a thing. I never read it. Correct me. Just cracked open an IPA from the watermelon. Any good? Not had it. 
So I'm a definitely think you should arrange for a stone crow pub crawl with us viewers. Smog monster. Yeah, I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Um When? 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 I mean we can organise it tonight if you want. Should we organise it? Time, date, place. Well that's Dave, Blue Van Man. Is he coming? Is Dave the Blue Van Man coming? I need a place, I need a time, and I need a date. Let's organise it tonight. There's no point in me just organising it because it has to be a logistical kind of thing where we all meet up together. Um, Smog Master saying Bristol. I'd like to say Cardiff. I'd like to get loads of people. Sorry, mate. I asked if you are. Um... Lanka Salat, can always stay here. Cool, that sounds really good. Um, next step for you is the Stone Crow podcast. Do you reckon that could work? Stone the Crow podcast. Do you get adverts on there? <laughs> is it adverts on podcasts? Need a spoon for your beer. Yeah. So, um, I tell you what, I'll suggest something. Um, let's let's start it off because it's not easy to do this. But um, oh, the um, Eddie Hall's Lager. Um, I seen your review. I seen your attack. Like I seen your thumbnail. I haven't seen the video yet. Um, but. Where can I get it? Where can I get Eddie Hall's lager? I'd like to. I'd like to get his lager. That would be pretty good. Um, I'd really like to get that. Right, you're blowing it out of proportion. I was a little joke, which I corrected within two or three minutes, mate. I've said sorry. Right, Jim McDonald said sorry. Um, let's just, yeah, let's just calm, calm. Send me the link. Thanks, Dave. Let's just calm Ed a bit now. Calm Ed. Let's all get on. Let's all get on. There's, there's no need for any silliness. There really isn't. Um, Simon, meet up Brew York Tap Room. That's a good, very good idea. Um, um, John, I've just had a WhatsApp from John. I can't, I'm on my phone. I'm on my phone, John, so I can't, I can't read the WhatsApp uh, during the live feed, but I'll read it later. Um, Shaftesbury. Right, I tell you what, I'll start off, where would you like to meet? Would you like to meet in Cardiff? Just a yes, just a yes now. Who can make Cardiff? If I, and then we'll arrange a date. Who can make Cardiff for the live meetup? Lee can't make it. Dave can't make it. Splot Cardiff can make it. Mark can make it. York, yes, Lord Spoon can, can make it. David can make it. Um, Smog Master can make it. Cardiff out of Mead. I'll come. Yes. Um, Cardiff. <laughs> Shannon can make it. 90, yes, can. David Brent, yes. Wait. Um, I'll be there. Yes, no. Hell yes. Pick my sniper. We're going to sort the date out in a minute. I need enough yeses. Um, Dave says God knows. So maybe Dave haven't said no. Dave could make Cardiff on the, on a big this it would be amazing meet up and a, we don't, some of you <coughs> some of you might have to order kind of or book hotels and stuff but um don't need a passport <laughs> oh it'd be amazing amazing lots of you can make it lots of you can make it okay so lots of you can make Cardiff um this is a little bit more difficult um picking a date I only got a calendar I need a calendar. Uh, what if we say... What, what's the um, last... Because we'll do a Friday Night Live. We'll do a Friday Night Live on my channel. What's the last Friday in August? When's the, when's the last Friday in August? The 28th. Twenty 
28th. Right, you can do the 28th. Who can do the 28th of August? And we'll do a Mikey Rea. We'll have all the, well, depending on when you can kind of get there. Count me in, 28th, 28th. It's your birthday as well, can't do then. Ah, Blue Van Man can't make it. Okay, just a question then. Um, day after payday. No, we had the COVID restrictions. Um, that works for the Raven. 2021 to be sensible. What about, yeah, I mean, avoid long weekend, please, on the way. September. We'd love to do that. December, maybe. Okay, I've gone too close. It's only three weeks away. Some of you live all over the country and you need more time. Right. A lot of you can do Cardiff. Um, when can... When's a good date? Put down the month. Put down the month. Somebody count Somebody count all the months. And, and then whatever month wins, um, chalk it down. Whatever month wins, we'll do that month. Uh, it's going to be old child job. It's going to be old child job. October. Someone say in the, in the new year. Lancaster last day tomorrow. <laughs> Do a Christmas one. Uh, my birthday's in September. Who will work tomorrow? I don't know. Doctor Who. September. Someone say in September. It's always a red. October. October. Right, we've got a few Octobers in. We've got another October. That's three Octobers. In November, we've got another October. Is anyone jotting all of these down now? We've got a load of Octobers coming through. October, October. Lancashire, last. October. Um, October, September. <laughs> Big Kev, September 2027 when COVID-19 goes away. Yeah, any moderators, can they ban Dixon's cider? What's happened with Dixon's cider? What has he said? Um, Falco, tuned in late. Well, we, we're talking about meeting up. Stone Crow virtual pub meetup. We're, we're going to do it in Cardiff. Cardiff's decided. Um, people are saying like October. And if I'm asking people when they can do it, it's hard to kind of sort this thing out, isn't it? Um, yeah, um, that... Cider bloke, can you can you please be a bit respectable towards Dave the Blue Van Man? He's a great guy. Um, there's no need. There's no need for being aggressive or, or, or whatever it is you're doing. I've missed the comment, but um, come on. Be fair's fair. Let's have a drink. Let's all get on together. That's all I want here. That's all I want to do is have a drink, get on together. There's no reason to be... Um, Daniel Bale's timed him out. What well, I don't understand it. For goodness sake, can we not all get on? Get rid of the negativity, yeah. Can I drink beer and stop smelling it? <laughs> I'm going to get another one. Um, always up for a night on Cardiff. Uh, not going to please everyone with a date. Yeah, Leah Mills, yeah, exactly that. Not going to please everyone, but we'll, we'll try. I'm going to get another beer. Should we try again with this machine? Should we try again to pour a beer out of this machine? Oh, Matt's put the lights on for me. <clears throat> All the lights are on now. Right, glass, right up to the nozzle, 45 degree angle, straight down. There's nothing I can do, guys. This is driving me bonkers. That was worse than the last one. I just need to come round with her, I think, and just... I'll have a bit of a chat by you, with you? Um, can I get right in? No. Um, oh, that's because the camera's not. 
Right, how are we now? Here we are. Here we are. It's not going to get any better. I'll just come back round. I don't know what's going on with this machine. Right. Oh, what's happening now? I turned it back around. <laughs> I see. I can't see myself. Um, hello, how are we doing? Uh, it says, yeah, get some. Would you not just use the blade? Uh, I, I, I'm going to start using the blade again, yeah. Uh, I'm cool, buddy. I'm going to message you uh, on WhatsApp tomorrow, mate, about a meetup. Yeah, Blue Van Man, we'll do a meetup. Right, we're going to sort a date for the meetup. We'll do a massive, massive meetup. Um, bring your good lady. Bring your good lady, Dave. Definitely, definitely bring your good lady. And you'll love Cardiff. Massive castle in the city centre. Huge castle. Um, loads and loads of places to eat. Loads and loads of places to drink. Um, I want you to try a Peter's Pie from Wales, from Cardiff. I want you to try an even better pie. It's a Clark's pie. Um, all right, Mel. I, I want you to try a Clark's pie. Well, what's this now? Um, Um, I don't know what to say there, Jim. I don't know what to say, because, um, I don't know, just all of it, all of it. Can we just, can we just all get on? That's what I want to say. Jim, you've been a massive follower of the channel for a long time. Uh, it's the Torchwood stuff I want to see. Ah, the Torchwood, yeah, that, that's cool. Um, we used to have the Doctor Who studios as well going on. Um, there's, yeah, there's loads. Caffilly Castle, um... Um, you got to see Castel Koch, not C O C K, but C O C H. Uh, Castel Koch, lovely kind of like it's a fairy tale castle. You can see it when you're driving down the motorway. So if you drive down to Cardiff, um, you will see it just on the outside of Cardiff on the right hand side as you're travelling past. It's it's just a castle nestled in the um, in the hills. I'm bad from Tiger Tiger, so we can avoid there. Um, there, there's loads of loads and loads of eateries. Loads. We've got Cardiff Bay, so we've got a massive like marina um, to see. Yeah, there's loads. Cardiff is um, Cardiff's a terrific place to have a drink as well. Terrific. It's all on the flat. No hills. No climbing. All on the flat. All of the pubs that are, are in an area. It's all. It used to be when I was a kid. St Mary Street used to be opened up and it was cars as busy and all it's all pedestrianised now it's all pedestrianised so they're all the bars and they've got their tables and chairs outside oh it's, it's terrific yeah. terrific all your walkabouts and all that type of thing is there if that's what you like all right Mal can you have a look at this machine for me I can't get a good blooming decent beer Mal's gonna have a go You gonna come and say hello to everyone? No. Not say who are you arguing with anyone? I'm not arguing with anyone. Yeah. <sighs> do I do shots? Oh, nightclubs. I'll be going home. I won't be going to any nightclubs on the meetup. It'd be too late for me. I'll be going home. But if you want nightclubs. Yeah, there's, there's, there's so many in Cardiff. I'm, getting, I'm too old for all that now. If we do a meet-up in Cardiff, I'll do the pubs. Mel will probably come along, but I won't be doing no nightclubs. I'm too old for all that. As soon as dinner's cooked, I'll do a picture on the Instagram. Beer hooligan, you come in? You come into the meet-up? Uh, Tiny Rebel, Brewdog, Zero Degrees... Um, you've got the Cambrian tap, where there's a picture of me on the wall in there. <laughs> and the city arms. Um, oh, there's loads. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Yeah, Duff Blim, yeah, bars only. I won't be doing any nightclubs. I'll be up for it. 
is travel lodges, loads of travel lodges in the city centre. Um, I mean, if you want a really good, if you want a real Cardiff experience, you've got to stay in the Sandringham. Stay in the Sandringham Hotel. Um, it's basically a place where you st just stick your head. You just stick your head down on the, on the pillow, cheap as chips. Um, no frills. It's a proper, like, no frills. I used to know a beer blogger who used to do, like, some of the trips in London. And he used to take pride in finding the cheapest place to stay in London. <laughs> he would stay anywhere. And this Sandringham is a bit like that, you know? It's a bit like, get there, just somewhere to put your head, and then just hour there in the morning, get around with your day, go back there at night type of thing. You wouldn't want to, you know, it's not, a, you know, you wouldn't want to stay there all day type of thing. See how many people booked the Sandringham. Ever been to Florida? No, love to. That's on my bucket list to do. Get to America, I'd love to. Uh, the mystery wouldn't be happy with that one. Yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's like a lads thing, if it's like just a lot of lads coming, then the Sandringham is the place to go. There's not many rooms there. Um, it's in a burgage plot. So um, it's a burgage plot is, as a rule, only 13 foot wide, but it goes up high. Um, they were old um, medieval kind of buildings because when they used to give up plots of land, they only used to give them out 13 foot wide, but they used to go back really deep. It's why like terraced houses and stuff are the size they are because they're on plots. Some of them are on plots that were kind of like only 13 foot wide. <laughs> David, please, yeah. Uh, phone died. Right, uh, lads, 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 I can pretend. Ah, oh, Leah Mills. Leah, um, it's, oh, you know, everyone's welcome. Absolutely everybody is welcome. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, um, the Sandringham's. <laughs> um, get yourself in a travel lodge. <laughs> Stayed in a hostel just across the river from the Millennium Stadium once. I think it was £25 for the night. Yeah, cheap as chips. Cardiff, cheap as chips, it really is. All seems great at the time. Big Kev, yeah, good idea. Don't make plans. Um, I do an amazing bacon and black pudding bap. Uh, come with me tomorrow, Simon, in Cardiff. I'll be in the travel lodge. Thank us a lash. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, I went to every FA Cup, semi FA Cup final and tried to shield at Arsenal, played in the Millennium Stadium. I do believe we played the, the most. Um, here we are then, Beer Hooligan. What is your experience of Cardiff and the nightlife and all of the different pubs? Um, good? Good? I, I, I'm a fan of it. I mean, I think it's brilliant. Be right back. You won. BRB. Do you know how I know? Be, be right back. Because my kids say it. BRB. BRB. <laughs> Every fan for the last 30 years. Great thing. Um, you get very drunk and lost normally. <laughs> Been to Cardiff once when Huddersfield lost 2 0. Didn't get to go to the city as I was on a coach, gutted. Uh, this drinks break in the football is not needed. I don't agree with that either. It's a pain, in it? Yep. Time for the toilet, BC. Right, where are we with the likes? We're doing well tonight. Um, 236 people have liked it. And we got 274 people tuned in. Can we hit the like button? Can we hit the like button and can we possibly go two hundred and tell you what we got two hundred and seventy three views can we do two hundred and seventy three likes two hundred and seventy three likes match it the likes for the views 
Let's do it. Let's try it. See what can happen. See if we can do that. <clears throat> Andrew, but yeah, Joe Biden was definite, definitely a, um, a local at the bar. Two hundred and fifty, two hundred and sixty-one. Come on and hit the like button down below. Let's get to two hundred and seventy-three. We need twelve more likes. Like button down below. Ten more likes then for two hundred and seventy-three likes. Nine. Lovely afternoon standing in the back. Yeah, got my little kind of blade things going on in the background. All of my bottle openers. Yeah, cool. Two six nine likes. Let's get a few more in. 270, go 300, we might go 300 later, there we are, 272, nearly there, just a couple more likes and we'll get there, hit that like button, like button down below, come on, a few more, that is it, we done it, yay, thank you very much, uh, if we, if I will be in the pub, I already have a few bits of oh, some gold now. I'm thinking about having some Belgian beer. So video, yeah, cool. Wolster's Pilsner. Uh, we'll be there, Daniel, if I set a date. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Lancashire Lass, Lancashire Lass, right, let's put in, and I've only had a couple of beers, only had a couple of beers, if she puts in a £5 super chat, will I take my shirt off and say, I love Lancashire Lass? Why not? Why not? Do it. Do it. Five pound super chat. It was shout, Simon, not say. Yeah. Oh, she'll know. She knows what's going on. She knows what's going on. Mel, look away. Simon, close the door. Um. Shall, yeah, please do. And in two seconds, I then say a book for ten nights in May. <sighs> Um, yeah. Uh, do it, lol. The Welsh do anything for five. <laughs> Simon would sell his grandma for a tenner. A great night now. A great night out years ago used to be Nottingham, but it's awful now. That's bad. We're doing all right with the likes tonight. 275 likes. We're doing pretty well. Uh, evening all. Great to be at the Stone Crow again. I'm having a scene fully on season. Let's have a good night. Cool. All the pubs are back open. Where, where do you drink? Here's the next question. Where's your local? Where is your local? Let me know in the comments below. Do you know, the reason is, right, it starts off that night of fun. It's a bit of super chat. It's a bit of fun. We used to do press-ups and stuff, you know? Um, I don't my purpose. It's going to stay Sunday nights. Well, there we are, be a be hooligan. Oh, yeah. Um, a fiver to keep your shirt on, please. Liam K! There we are, shirt stays on. <laughs> <laughs> um, brilliant, most Tavern. Yeah, um, the man had three minute walk. Uh, got a night out planned in Cardiff on bank holiday. Going to be different compared to other bank holidays. I feel yeah, what a shame, Leah. Um, we got another five pound super chat. Uh, England IPA. What food to eat before drinking the beer? Sometimes. It's like Guinness on speed. Um, England, England IPA, what 
food to eat before drinking the beer. Um, what do I like? Gravy and chips. Gravy and chips. Thank you very much. Paul Goggin for the five pound super chat. What do I eat if I was going to have a few English IPAs? That would be gravy and chips. Thank you very much for the five pound super chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, five is like buses here, none for a while, and two come along at once. Yeah. Right, gotta just get rid of this horrible thing. There we are. Cat's gone. Chased it away. Get out of it! <laughs> uh, cat wants to go out. Yeah. Oh, blimey. It's hard, it's hard with animals, and I've got to be honest. Um, I still love them. I still love animals. Uh, uh, come on, the mice. Ashton Athletic Club. Free sponsor of the game via channel. Plenty of free beers and video. What Ashton Athletic Club, they want to be my sponsor of the channel. Just looking out the window thinking where that cat's gone. Oh, he's so loud. Um, it's gone. Cat's gone. I chased it away. Cat looks after you. Yeah. Anthony, how are we doing? Don't know you had a cat, love cats. Oh, generally, it'll sit on my lap and I'll smooth it and I'll feed it and that sort of thing. Um, but during the live feed, I can't have all that noise during the live. I'm like, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> I can't concentrate with the cat making all that noise. Um, <clears throat> the dog's far better for you from cameras. Anthony's very well. Jack Duckworth in. Jim McDonald, keep you keep an eye on me and here, young man. Um can't beat Chippy Lane. I tell you what, that's another thing. So in Cardiff, when you've had enough beer, when we do this meetup, we have a lane. It's called Chip Shop Alley. Chip Shop Alley, Chippy Lane, um, Chippy Alley. It's a lane, literally. Full of chip shops. Proper old fashioned. You've got Tony's Fish and Chips, Dorothy's, my favourite, Dorothy's Fish Bar. The famous Chippy Alley, yeah. Famous Chippy Alley. So you can go down there, Chip Street, Chip Alley. <laughs> it's great. It's famous. It's famous, Chip Alley. Oh, never mind the rats. Don't worry about the rats. They're everywhere. You can't get away from the rats. Dorothy's is the one, Liam Miles. Yes, I totally agree. Dorothy's is the one. Um, Chip Central, Carolina Street. It's called Caroline Street, yeah. Chippy Alley. Chop suey rolls. Um, thank you, LBC. There's a gym in Bonda, Chippy. Chips Avenue. Chippy Alley. Chippy Alley. Dorothy's do, awesome, um, and this is by, because I agree, uh, Neil Morgan. Give you a tray, chips, and then they'll put chicken curry all on top. And then they send you out the shop, one o'clock in the morning, with a fork, and you're like this. With your, <laughs> with your chicken curry and chips, and it ends up down your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's absolutely great. It really is. My favourite, though, is... Um, oh, that's been sausage and batter. I love a sausage and batter. Big, giant sausage and batter. Oh, I love it. And then you whack all the chips down. Loads of vinegar. Um, to be any minute. Lord's Brewing... No, that wasn't. That was Paul's beer review saying that. Daddy Ali. But anything, anything in batter. Yeah, Leah, anything in batter, yeah. Can't beat a good sausage and butter. Daniel Burl, you must know. You must know of um, Chippy Alley. Mr. 
Mr. Lex, remember Potato Smiley Faces in primary school? I, I still know them now. I've got kids. I've got kids. I still know them. Well, we don't buy them so much anymore. <coughs> Wish we did carry at the Rovers return. We'd have made a fortune. June had a potato fritter the other day for the first time and she bloody loved it. Oh, I love potato fritters. I haven't seen a potato fritter in ages. Well, mushy peas. Potato fritter, mushy peas, some gravy in a pot, pour a little bit on. And then have a bag of chips as well. A bag of chips with your potato fritter. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Love it. I tell you what, though. Um, and this is a little chat with Dave. I see, I see Dave, the blue van man. He does a lot of um, fish, chips and mushy peas. Must love that. But for some reason, I never order it. For some reason, I never order fish and chips with mushy peas. I should do. I should do. It's, it's our national kind of treasure, isn't it? I should order it. Um, I'm, I always order sausage and batter. Giant, a big one, mine. I don't do a small, tiddly little thing. I do a great big sausage and batter. Uh, Savario, not very, it takes me a while. I'm not a very big man to, to down a pint. I'm not the biggest of guys. Now he's going to Amsterdam in 10 days' time. Uh, anyone have good recommendations for Belgium and Dutch beers? Um, Brewery, the Dr. Van der Coroner. I brewed a collaboration with them. Um, Brewery de Molen, the Molen beers, Brewery de Molen are definitely worth checking out, they're really good. Um, oh, there's so many good beers. I love a pint in the Rovers, Jack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tannins. Um, oh, there's so many good breweries in, um, I got a couple down there. Wait there, I gotta, I, I'll answer you directly by grabbing a beer now. Amazing that I got these kind of beers on hand. Oh, actually, I'll bring the whole, I'll bring the whole box over. I was just thinking, then I, I got um, so I got a deal with um, Beer Fifty Two. Hey, Jenkins, Jenkins is in the house. I got a deal with Beer Fifty Two where I'll give him a shout out. And um, we got a little bit of a sponsorship deal going on at the at the present moment. Um, so this beer, this all these beers are from Holland. That's an extra stout. It looks really good, proper old fashioned um, stout, and it's coming in look at seven point seven point one percent. See there. Seven. There it is. Seven point one percent. Uh, there's that, uh, and then we have, um, this is good, um, Bird of Prey IPA, it's by um, Ulch Brewing Company, and I like their cans, they're like cartoon characters, 5.8% ABV IPA. I've reviewed this, so I might get this out now in a minute, I might just have a drink of that, to be honest, I'm sure Beer 52 won't mind too much. Um, this is the Moore's Lattle Beer Engineers. Um, I think Dave will like this one. It's a coconut and chocolate stout at 8% ABV. That will be like engine oil, Dave. That will be like engine oil. The Moore's Lattle. Resonance, it's called. Uh, what else we got? Brewery de, Doc, um, um, Brewery de Mollen, as I, and this is Vul and Vlam. I love Brewery de, Volum, um, de Molen beers, really, really good. That's an IPA, I think, or, um, it's called Fire and Flames. IPA-ish, it says. And this is called Panty, and it's a stout 6% ABV, and it's by Oedipus. 
Simon go for the eight percent. I got to review it. I can't just drink it. I got to. I got to review that one. But um, what's this one? Oh, um, Brewery Keys, Hazy Sunrise, seven point one percent ABV. So you get a box of this every month from Beer Fifty Two. Subscribe to their little kind of monthly subscription. You don't even have to look at the beers; they just turn up at your door every month, and that's the beauty of it. It's like a, it's like a, you know, almost like a book club or something, you know, where you get books sent to you. But this is beer, and you and you you get it's like an education because you don't know what's coming. It can be from the Netherlands, Brazil, Germany, France. America, it could be all over the world, and they just kind of like they do a monthly theme of different countries' beers, and you just get to go, and it just it just gets the old brain matter going. It just keeps things kind of like ticking over in terms of what you're drinking, where from. It's, it's quite nice. Next month is New York. Sacred. That is going to be amazing. Sacred. Next month is going to be New York. So so a box of beer. From New York City. That would be, you can have stouts, IPAs, porters. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, um, because I'm only drinking halves, because I'm gonna only get halves in this glass, I'm gonna try it again now. I'm gonna turn the camera again. What's going on now? Oh, I gotta turn the yeah, I gotta turn the camera first, don't I? There we are. Get a beer. It's not getting any better at all, is it? It really is. I'm holding the glass up to the nozzle. Nozzle, the glass is wet. It's not getting any better. Never mind. On we go. I'll do and then switch over. Duff Plimpian. <laughs> it's just like a good one. Oh, I don't know. On a fleek with that. Yeah, that's the old chestnut. Um, nearly 300 views. Hold the glass upside down, you'll get less heavy. <laughs> yeah, brr, just hold your mouth to it. But you can see it's not liquid. It's not liquid, it's foam. You can see the foam coming out. It's like, I don't know. Uh, my free box of Dutch beer arrived from Beer 52 a few hours ago. Ferment looks like a splendid read. No, so, so on, on Lee today. Tomorrow's another day. Gordon McKinley, thank you very much for signing up for the Beer 52 box. That is awesome. Um, froth means the beer is good. <laughs> Lots of people, lots of people are speaking to one another, which is really cool. I just re realised, um, I don't know what the time is yet. Does it say, oh, it's half past. Half past eight. I, I've had an hour and a half without a wee break. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hello, Ale Guy. Hello, Hayes. How are we doing? Um, Jenkins, Jenkins. So Simon has bought a Mr. Whippy machine. Right, what's the score? Brentford, Fulham. Anybody know the score between Brentford and Fulham? If it's my bet, Brentford are winning. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. That's the thing, see. It's edgy, isn't it? It's edgy, it's nervy. Fulham got experience in the Premier League, so you can't rule them out. Who's playing better? Who is playing better? Patrick, <coughs> Patrick Smith. Simon, 
What are your hopes for Everton next season? My hopes for Everton, they got Ancelotti. I reckon when they signed a contract with, um, when he signed a contract with Everton, I think it would have been first season, save us from rele relegation into the summertime. Well, now it's going into the autumn, really, isn't it? Into the summer, we'll give you X amount of money, go and buy some tremendous players, and we'll challenge for the top four. That's my thinking of what was going on. Because they, they didn't sign anybody in January. Taylor Ben, I love the snooker too. Taylor Ben, absolutely love the snooker. Fulham have the possession, but no one is looking dangerous. Against, you know... Against Cardiff, Fulham are really dangerous. Brentford against Swansea look really dangerous. It's it's just one of those things, isn't it, I suppose. Beer online. Looks good. Um, how was your first cast point, Simon? Carby looked great. Tom Wheeler, yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Nice point of Marston's pedigree. Uh It was, yeah, it was pretty, pretty kind of drinkable and nice. Went really well with the carvery. Pretty decent. He's only drinking shots of pale ale tonight. I'm, do, I'm just going to drink that keg. I'm going to drink the whole keg tonight. And then I'm going to turn the machine off, I think. Um, I got some Brewdog Punk IPAs tops that I could put in there. Um, I fancy an egg. Scottish export beer. Simon, any suggestions? Scottish export beer. Uh, try Overtone. Overtone Brewing Company. Yeah. Gotta go, Simon, but I'll watch up you tomorrow. Dave, send me some dates, mate, when you can come to Cardiff. We'll have such a laugh. We will have such a laugh. See you later, Dave. Ta now, mate. Right, uh, on we go. On we go, on we go. Um, where do you see Real L Stone Crow in 2021? That's a really good question. Really good question. Where do I see the Real L Craft Beer Stone Crow pub in 2021? Um, personally, my own personal thing is that we're in for a long winter. I think we're in for a really long winter. Um, I think this whole situation, I like to call it a situation because YouTube doesn't allow me to talk much about it. Um, Nigel Johnson, we need a podcast. I don't know how to do it. I'll have to have a look. Um, it seemed this did. Yeah, I'm not allowed to call it by what it's called um, too many times. Otherwise, my stream will get turned off. But I call it the situation. We all know the situation I'm talking about, but it seems to like cold weather. So I'm thinking, um, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be cold. And I'm thinking it's going to spread. And it's going to be long. It's going to be a long winter. It's going to be a really, really long winter. Because if all the pubs shut again, if all the shops shut again for Christmas, um, you can probably say goodbye to the British economy, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. Um so, as far as the Stone Croak pub, um, so you're doing the Stone Crow cast. Oh, Jenkins, Jenkins, all that name for me, the Stone Crow cast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How, do I, how do I set that up? That'd be a good thing to do. Um, Nye Johnson, winter is coming. It's, it's already like, I don't know, what's the time? Half eight? 20 to nine, it's getting dark. Uh, I really hope that doesn't happen. Neil Morgan. Um, I, I think it's going to be really bad. Uh, you've, you've got to have a look at the meat factories, haven't you? You've only got to have a look at the meat factories and you can see that it's, it's thriving in cold conditions. So, I think it's all coming back. I think it's all coming back, unfortunately. Uh, so, we will run the Stone Crow. To try and get everybody through it. And we've got to hope we don't catch it ourselves. Uh, I'd rather we stay safe. Sorry. Then opened up and set us back 
It's a square one. Just sent you the picture of the real little kebab to you on Instagram. I'm on my phone, Mark, so um, I'll have to have a look at it probably tomorrow morning now, but I'll, I'll definitely have a look. But uh, you can see me wriggling around on the chair. You can see me dancing around on the chair. I think it's time for the first toilet break. Uh, Liam Mills, Miles. I can see the situation being bad winter time. Unfortunately, you keep washing those hands, people. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be quite bad. Lord's Brewing Company saying it's really easy to put together a podcast. It's. Oh, oh it's not as easy as YouTube, I think. Yeah. Public responsibility to keep the stone crow going. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to top this up. I'm going to go to the toilet, top this up. Top it up, go to the toilet, come back, top it up again, sit back down. So I'll be a couple of minutes. Um, in the meantime, we got 292 likes. Can we hit the like button while I'm in the toilet, pouring beer? Can we do... 3.30? Is that possible? 330 likes? Hit the like button down below. Let's do 330 likes. That would be amazing. Hit the like button. See you all in a minute. Oh, hang on. Wait there. I think we're... Guys, I need to go past a stone. Crow guys would be great with interviews, etc. That's a good idea. Or just send, set up a little kind of microphone here and, and just record it all and then upload it to a pod but then it wouldn't make sense with it because i'm reading comments here it makes sense this but it wouldn't make sense if i just put all that on a podcast right 304 likes can we do 330 we've got 25 to go hit the like button down below Back again. <clears throat> Pouring a beer. We are. <laughs> Look at this. Huh? Look at this. 320 likes. Look at that. 10 to go. Can we do 330 likes for the Stoned Crow Virtual Pub? Nine to go. What have you done? <laughs> what have I done? Although we all did our best during the first lockdown, I think a strict two-week complete.
complete lockdown is the answer. Give us one to two weeks to get our food in, etc. And be really strict. Yeah, it'll go away. It'll be gone, won't it? It'll be like... Two weeks. Get your food in. Two weeks. No leaving the house. It'll be gone. Crack a punk IPA in that talk, brother. Captain Meets Adventures, 39.1 subs. Stone the Crows. Yeah. Um, it's been amazing. It has been amazing. Any updates with a new bar? Well, this, we're in it. We're in the bar. We're in the bar. Punk IPA has been spot on recently. What, from the blade, uh, the um, Perfect Draft? Krups? Machine. Gordon McKinley, at 67 years young, I'm a bit of a technophobe. How can I see all your past YouTube reviews, Simon? Is there any way to type in a beer and see if you reviewed it? Gordon McKinley! I tell you what, I will sit here now for a minute or two, and this is to the older viewers of the channel. Right. The best way to describe YouTube is it's very much the same as Google search It's owned by the same company. In fact, it's the second biggest, second largest search engine in the world. <clears throat> so when you go onto YouTube, you'll see a big search bar on the top. Go into the search bar, generally put in real ale, and then the beer. So say Adnams Broadside. Put in real ale, Adnams Broadside, and bang, the review will come up straight away. So whatever beer you're drinking, got it in your hand like this. Ah, what's this birds of prey? I wonder if the real ale guides reviewed it. Put in real ale, birds of prey IPA, Bang! I know I've reviewed this when I've done this a year or two ago. You'll see. You'll see if I've reviewed the beer. So that's the way. That's the way to, to see. And that's what we're aiming for, really. That's why we're doing two beer reviews a day. Is that we're turning this whole thing into like one big search engine. And not just me, because there will be beers that I haven't reviewed... I haven't had time to review them. I've, I haven't even heard of some of these beers. There'll be other beer reviewers out there. There'll be, I'm sure, we're at a point now, a critical mass. I think there's a point now where you will put in any beer that you found, unless it's brand, brand, brand new, and somebody out there would have reviewed it. Cheers to that. Cheers to, and uh, here he is, Joe Morris of the two pound two twenty nine two pound ninety nine super chat. What's your thoughts on Marston's pedigree, Joe Morris? Um, Joe, I had a uh, point of it yesterday in the pub on that Carvery video, and um, with my Carvery, with my roasties and my gravy and my. Yorkshire puddings and everything else. It was all right. It was all right. If you're asking me, would I like to drink five, six Marston's pedigrees? I think I'd have about one, two, three, and I'd be like, kind of like I'm looking for something else. I need something else now. I need to move on to a different drink. One or two, it's fine. It's a cask ale. They've been brewing it for years and years and years. It's not going to blow you away with hops. Um, it's not that style of beer. It may not blow you away with malts. You know, it's a it's a a beer that you can find throughout the UK and in bottle throughout the world, and it's it's okay. It's a staple kind of run of the kind of mill, if you like, run of the mill beer. Any 
Every new beer I drink, I check to see what Sai has to say about it. Big Kev, that is amazing. Thank you very much, Big Kev. And that, that's, exactly, that's exactly what we're aiming for, Big Kev. We are aiming to get as many beer, of course, but I started off supermarket beer, so a lot of my early beer, if you watch something like Shepherd Neem Spitfire for me or Bishop's Finger, I look about 30 years of age because I was 30 years of age. I was 30, 10 years ago. Um, snack Lifter, all them old kind of, you know, old fashioned kind of real ales. Snack Lifter and, and Jennings beers and all the beer. It's changed so much, it's changed so much. All of the different, all of the different kind of beers. Is 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 um, Lee going? Ah, oh, never mind. Joel Morris, five pound super chat. What do you think of Brains New Craft Brewery? Right, Joel Morris, five pound super chat. Thank you so very much for your support. First and foremost, I've not been there. I've not been to the new craft brewery. Um, I need to go. I got the email address of, of, of the head brewer. I'll email him and see if there's a gate to go to these days and, and, and go over there and, and just knock his door and see if I can go in, wave my camera around. Um, that might be pretty good. Um, what time is it? 10 to 9. 10 to 9. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, John Morris, for the £5 Super Chat. I need to go and see Brains Brewery. I've not been there. I've not been there. <clears throat> uh, Love the Glass. Where is it from? That's by Sega Wine. Um, it's by Next Level Brewing. And they are from Austria. Here's the super chats. X pimp my sniper, two pound. Uh, you said hello to Jack Duckworth. Duckworth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack Duckworth, yeah. Hello, Jack Duckworth. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, finally, a good selection for the blade on Beowulf. Uh, what are you going to get? Next for it, Simon. I'll probably have a look. See what I can do. See what I can do. Um, I will probably have a little email tomorrow. See what I can kind of get my hands on for the blade. I wouldn't mind a vice. I'd love a vice being in the blade. Oh, I'd love a vice being in the blade. That would be killer, wouldn't it? Killer. Vice being in the blade. That would be amazing. All these Corrie references are going over Simon's head. Dev was the most entertaining actor, but a terrible actor and less. Um, I never ever in my life watched Coronation Street. It was the as soon as I went, I was like, "Oh my god, what the hell is this? What on earth is this?" Turned it off. Never ever 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 because of that awful intro music ever entertained Coronation Street. I've never watched it. I was like, whoa! Back in the day, it was a button, wasn't it? Turn the telly off. I'd rather put some music on. Sit in the garden, put some music on. Never, 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 never have I watched um, Coronation Street, sorry. <laughs> Jim McDonald's gonna be like, but I've never watched it. I've heard of him, heard of him. Of I, I did some YouTube watching of him. Uh, if Coronation Street was a lag, it'd be Carlin. Switch the offices as soon as you came on. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed an early time. First time for me. After Gem, next in my blade. After Gem in the blade. Oh, can you imagine Erdinger? Oh, how does the theme tune go? Oh, it's awful. Blemming. Soaps of crap. Um, my life is dull enough. <laughs> yeah. 
My uncle doesn't watch Coronation Street either. I've never seen it. I've never, ever sat down and watched Coronation Street in my life. I couldn't, these people could walk past me in the street and I wouldn't have the foggiest who they were. Uh, soaps used to be amazing, man. Some right characters and soaps. They used to be. I will admit, I used to watch. I used to. My favourite character of a soap series was easily, easily Frank Butcher. Frank Butcher had that. You know when he used to sit back in his car dealership in the little uh, metal shed thing, sit back and. Um, it was the time where Pat Butcher's husband, I can't remember his, his name, I used to watch it. It's the time when Frank Butch, um, Pat Butcher's husband got into financial difficulty and Pat was like, oh yeah, let's get, um, let's, let's phone Frank up, let's phone Frank Butcher. And they got Frank in and, and then Frank would be on the phone, eh, calling all the, the, calling all the like, um, his deals in, you know? Hello, ma. Yeah, he'd, get, he'd, get, he'd be on the phone. Um, getting all these deals in over the phone, kind of get the um, Frank Butcher was past husband. No, after all of that, after all of that, what was the one, what was his name? What was his name? He died in the kitchen. He stands in the night, he was class, yeah. Oh, I can't remember what he... Roy! That, that was it. Yeah, yeah, Roy. He got into... Roy got into financial difficulty. And they got Frank back and... and uh, Type Frank Butcher your bow tie into YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it, I remember. I remember the spinning bow tie. Uh, um, and he just got... You know, of course, it's all fake. It's all a lot of bloody rubbish, isn't it? But he got he got Roy out of financial trouble, and he was like he was just a wheeler dealer type guy, you know, feet on the desk, on the phone. Um, I knew Mike Reed personally as he was always around the pubs in Braintree on his days off, as he had part ownership in a snooker hall in the town. Did he really? Ah, was he a nice guy? Be a hooligan. Was. Was um, Mike Reed a decent guy? Was he was he a you know all right type of character, a bit like what he was on EastEnders? Soaps make me take up drinking. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch anyway anymore. Um, I tell you what, I tell you, my end. I, I gotta. Yeah, Cameron Coleman. I totally agree. I tell you the um. The end for me, the last time I ever put EastEnders on, Simon would, uh, Simon Karaoke Channel, that would be ace. <laughs> Karaoke King! Thank you very much, Lord's Brewing Company, for the £5 super chat. Really appreciate it. Um, I remember her name. I haven't, I haven't remembered, I haven't re remembered her name for a long time. Um, it was the time there was a ginger bloke in there. There was a ginger bloke in there and Stacy Slater had an affair with him. And there was one episode for half an hour long, one episode where Stacy Slater spent half an hour screaming, literally shouting. They were all screaming at each other. And I, was, I was sat there watching this programme and I thought, what on earth am I doing sitting through this? What? I, I swear, I turned it off. I it wasn't a switch. By then, it was a flat screen TV. I turned it off, and I never, ever watched the soap again. Ever, ever watched the soap again. Never watched the soap again. Gone. And it's all Stacey Slater's fault. Screaming. Can you remember that that episode? Where she was just screaming. Screaming. Screaming for half an hour. Just, 
I'm not interested in that. And that was that. That was it for me. That was it for me. I was done. I was done. Right. Um, great guy. When he went to buy golf equipment, where my wife works, he used to call her princess. And only uh, have her serve him. No way. <laughs> Brilliant. Amazing. Oh, Doug. Only Fools and Horses, best episode. That's a really good one. I can't remember individual episodes. I watched them all, but I can't remember any. But I love Dal Boy's mannerisms, the way he was, breakfast in the morning, always in the cafe, fried eggs. Bacons every morning, fried eggs, bacon, you know, mug of coffee, mug of tea type of thing, having a chat with the boys across the way in the cafe and, you know, he knew everyone and I love that. That was, you know, his mannerism, the way he was. Um, going to the pub, all right, all right, you know, that's something, all right, that's something, because I'm, I'm, I'm nothing like that. I am nothing like that. I go into a cafe, sit by myself. Go to a pub, generally stand on my own. It's the complete opposite of my manner. Although I sit here, although I sit here and I talk to you guys for four hours straight, normally I don't say boo to a goose. <laughs> normally. Well, I do now. I'm a very different person now, but... Um, I've had young kids for 10 years. I don't know what I would be like if I if I kind of had a local. Because all the local pubs around here shut down in 2008 with the financial crisis. All gone. All gone. Um, surprise, surprise, you going on in show business after this. And the house was, oh my God. He never knew it was loaded. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I suppose, though, Mark, I suppose the guy had to make a living. You know, when you when you got all the money in the world and, and when you got all the property in the world, you still need to make a living because well, not all the money, in the world, that's the wrong thing. When you've got, when you've got commitments, like nice cars and stuff, and you've still got to pay for all of that. So I imagine he had to carry on. Brentford Luton still nil-nil. <laughs> Brentford Luton. <laughs> Fulham. Brentford Fulham. I love that. Well done. Hazy Hayes. Would love a pint with the guys from last of the summer wine. Glenn Murphy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Maureen, yeah. Um, I watched Fools and Horses on Dave. Yeah, brilliant. Best episodes of the hotel. <laughs> filmed in and sent a video to Boise. Did he? Really? Did that really happen? <laughs> uh, oh my god, yeah, that would be awful. John Hayden, uh, what's your opinion on the tactic of walking the dog when the soap starts? Sorry, when in reality, I take the dog around the corner and go and sit in the pub and have three pints. I mean, yeah, my, luckily, my wife, Mel, she doesn't like any soaps either. Luckily for me, Mel doesn't like soaps either. So I'm quite, I'm quite lucky that we don't have to sit through the soaps because nobody watches. I, I don't think my children know what soaps are. Kim, do you know what soaps are? Like EastEnders and Coronation Street and all that stuff. I know what they are. Kim lives in Italy, so there's no way of um, her, her following it. Yeah, and she just said Italian TV is rubbish. So if Savario is still watching, and Italian TV is rubbish. Um, how long you got, Kim? We're half hour. All right, okay, you got got a bit of time then. 260, 272 people still tuned in, 344 likes. Uh, most women say soaps are rubbish yet still watch them. <laughs> uh, YouTube is my soaps. Yeah, well, the thing is with YouTube is 
there's nothing pre-recorded there's nothing pre-planned not for me anyway there's a lot of channels that could be kind of pre-planned pre but mine's not mine's just record off we go let's have a chat it was Beer Hooligan or Vida St. Pet was one of the best TV series ever. And I think that was off the back of um, well it was rebuilding Germany wasn't there? And there was a lot of I think when TV let's be fair, TV is basically propaganda in it. It's propaganda. So so during the war there was probably a lot of television stuff about how bad the other side were yeah and then after the whole world war ii there was probably tv series where it's still banging on about the you know what it was 30 years ago i still remember bits of it and then it went into the stage, like, all the same pet, where they filmed, like, a CDs where people were going over to Germany and they were earning fantastic money, and they were rebuilding Germany. Um, and then we kind of hit that full circle, really, where, where everything's built, everybody's getting on, and now they've take, they're starting to take down the series where they used to kind of, like, Afghan, that sort of thing's gone. Um, they've even taken some Faulty Towers episodes down. They've just they just got rid of it. It's it's not acceptable anymore until there's another war, and until there's another war, all of a sudden, ha ha, you know, we can start bashing the other side again, and then it's like full circle. It's like full circle. It's just it's just. I find the news control. I find TVs full of propaganda. I, I don't I don't entertain any of it really. The biggest one now for me is football. When um when the football they go um boop um sorry for the bad language. It it's a football match. It's a football match, I mean goodness sake I mean, i'm really trying to encourage youngsters to watch football but but when the commentators go we're sorry if you heard a bit of bad language during this particular time it's like it's like oh my goodness me i'm paying you 60 quid a month to watch this football i should be able to blimmin listen to what i want you know Uh, nothing we got rid of, Simon. The Faulty Towers episode still exists, just with a disclaimer. Ah, now at the start. Uh, now, due to use of the N word, and you can still buy all of this stuff on DVD. Um, one of the best films is The Plank Stein, Tommy Cooper, and Eric Sykes. Classic film where no one says a word in it. Oh, I have to watch it. I've never seen that one. I have to watch it. I was some hell on your beard tonight. The German purity law. Does anybody um, know about the German purity law? The um, Reichshabot. Reich the Reichshabot. Apologies for bad language is weak. Ah, oh, it's awful, isn't it? Isn't it terrible? It makes me cringe. It makes me go... It makes me, it makes me curl up inside a little bit when they say it. It's like, oh, you know... no. Okay, I think back in my day, if there was bad language in football, like, oh, yeah, it. I think the commentators would stay silent for a couple of seconds. And then they would just kind of like, oh, and, and there's Paul Rideout passing the ball. They would get on with it. But to actively point it out and, like, make a scene, it's not the right thing to do. It's not the right thing to do. Yeah, X put my son. Yeah, they just moved on. They just moved on. It, it happened with all human beings. It's moved on. But now they, they, they effectively just stop and point 
and, and oh well, we're sorry about the bad language you might have just heard. Drives me nuts. Kenneth Crooney, uh, don't you think it's just all YouTube nowadays anyway? Um, yes, yes, I don't, I, I don't think there's many, um, I don't think this is a big thing for TV anymore. I think everything's gone online anyway. Um, certainly YouTube. And there's a lot of, well, I see the younger generation really, really enjoy YouTube. And then... Well, I can see from my graphics, I can see that there's a certain, a very small amount of kind of 60 plus people who watch the channel. When it gets like 70 to 80, basically nobody watches YouTube. But it, it goes um, 50 to 60 is growing. 40 to 50 is quite big. 30 to 40 massive part of my channel is 30 to 40 year olds and then 20 to 30 it starts going the other way a little bit because uh i think without i mean there's a lot of people who drink craft beer in their 20s but but that age graphic that demographic they're still learning their you know they're still kind of like learning their way in terms of craft beer so my biggest age demographic is the 30 to 40 on YouTube. And then when you get down to like teenage years, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's really watching. People like Graham Suness back in the day would tell opposing footballers if they come near them with a the ball. <laughs> so imagine that being said now, public outcry. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, he, he didn't really go, you know, it's just a saying. I don't think Graham Suness went out to do that sort of thing. It's just a saying. It's just, you know? I'm 43 and I'm sure I was watching you two, watching you before I was 40. It's fine. Ed Friday. Yeah. There's always people to watch, but in terms of kind of like, like big graphs and stuff, I'm just talking about the big graphs. My biggest age group is 30 to 40. Fifty three here. Whoops, gaps. Interesting. If it came in, my opinion. Nothing wrong with a Starbucks. I'm twenty eight years old. All for a frap. I'm forty three. <laughs> yeah. I'm fifty eight. I've been watching for five years. Fifty three when he came in. Lol. <laughs> I had a massive, like, um, I had a massive Indian for breakfast from the night before. And then I went all day without eating, and then I had a massive steak. I was t sending pictures to Matt, the beer hooligan. I had a massive steak dinner at, like, I don't know, about four o'clock this afternoon. And it's just settling down. I'm just kind of enjoying my pints now. Yeah. Captain meets adventures to the beer hooligan. Who was the gunner's best midfielder? Was it Patrick Vieira? Uh, not sure what this channel is about, but cheers. Um, everything. Everything. Um, it's generally beer and food. And then when, when we do the live feeds... We talk about everything. Like you would, I mean, you would talk about everything and anything in a pub, wouldn't you? It's, it's anything. 
in this in this Stone Crow virtual pub, I will sit here and talk with anyone about anything. We've covered football, we've covered soaps, we've covered we've covered everything tonight. Really, we haven't really talked about rugby too much, but um, my favourite bracky, um, favourite breakfast, hazy haze, um, two sausage, three bacon, two eggs. Four hash browns, because I'm Welsh. Four rounds of toast. Loads of beans. Bit of black pudding. Brown sauce. And a bit of vinegar on my hash browns. And now you're all making me hungry. Um, right, Captain Who's Avengers. For me, it was Liam Brady. Or Chippy, as we called him. Liam Brady. Was it before my time, Liam Brady? John Jensen, wasn't it? Philip James, you know, John, I felt sorry for that guy, John Jensen. John Jensen was a fantastic footballer. He was just so unlucky not to score. If that guy scored in his early Arsenal career, he would have scored a, scored a bucket full of goals. The point is, the longer it went on, the longer it became a scene, the longer it became... A thing. And he was a good footballer, John Jensen. He really was. I was there when John Jensen scored for Arsenal. Did he did he score in the end? Did it did it finally kind of happen? Um Paul's beer reviews, no more Arsenal talk. Muggy little South London club. I'm not gonna get involved with that one. You alright, Mel? You gonna come and say hello? Malibu here Friday. Ah, Sheldon Morgan. Sorry, I was told the cans in the fridge store, taste better when stored upright than laid on their side. Well, I'm burping now. Laid on their side. Right, there's a science behind this. If you stand the beer up in the fridge, cool it down, the surface area of the beer the top of the can is likely to be filled with CO2. And it's, I'm boring myself. <laughs> it's likely to be filled with CO2 and no air is going to get into the can of beer at all. If you lay the beer on its side, there's a greater chance of surface area for the beer to get infected or whatever. Brilliant. Bigger surface area for the chance of the air to get there. So don't lay it on its side. If you lay it on its top, there's a lot less surface area for the, for the potential little bit of air or, or chance of infection to get in there. Harry Kane is the best striker Arsenal ever had, and they let him go. Did they really? Did Harry Kane? Was he an Arsenal player? No way. Paul's beer reviews is Gaza England's best player. For me, yes. It has to be Bergkamp. If it wasn't for him, Harry wouldn't have scored so many goals. What a team! I remember them days. Arsenal were incredible. Bergkamp, Henri. Oh my goodness. They were. I remember watching them against Everton. I was on holiday in Spain. And I remember they tore Everton a new backside in like half an hour. The first half an hour, I think they blitzed Everton with about five goals. Every time it seemed Arsenal went forward, they scored. And even me. Back then, as a I was a back then, I was a real passionate Everton fan. Even I was kind of like just sat back applauding this football. There was nothing Everton could do. They were up, they were bang, 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 bang. The ball was pinging about in the box, in the box, and they always wanted to score the perfect goal. What, what a time that was! What a time that was. Everton getting <laughs> nothing changes though. No. Uh, 
Gazza was my hero as a kid. Best player I've ever seen in an England shirt. He was good. He was good. 90s and early 2000s were the last days of drinking culture in English football. ex pimp my sniper. Yeah. Um, wasn't it Alex Ferguson? Didn't um, Alex Ferguson more or less say to the Man United players that you're not allowed to drink beer um, at half time anymore? <laughs> right, I got another toilet break. I've broken my seal. Has to be Brian Robson or Stuart Pearce. Big, strong players they were. Toilet break. Oh. I'll pour a beer first. Can we do a cheeky 400 likes? Let's get to 400 likes. Hit the like button down below. 400 likes. Let's go for it. We're on 358 so far. Right, everyone, I am back, and I'm back with a Brewdog Punk IPA Torp to go in the Krups, the Subcompact. I am out of beer. I've drunk two litres. Have I swapped it? Yeah, I've drunk two litres of the... Uh, There we go, that's empty. So that comes off there like that. Jesus. Something's wrong with this thing. Oh, there's flipping loads in there. It's low. Shh. 
Should we go and get a knife? No, I don't know where to pour it. I don't know, I can't be bothered. There's something wrong with that. Is it big in there? No, there's Mal saying there's no it's beer like in there. It's like a bag in the back, but it doesn't, it's certainly not like wobbling around like that anyway. Right, this is this easy to pour. I'm going to get my daughter to do it, Molly. So Molly, right, you're going to change this punk IPA no. top. Come here, mm. take the lid off, grab that. Come on, come on, I've got to be extra loud. Oh, nice, Molly. You're yeah, nice. Okay. Molly's got a... Molly's a teenager. Right, and then we grab this. Right. You put it in! Push that in there. Stop. Oh! That goes in there. Oh, 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 don't make the right. No, oh, put it in the back first. This is like Kevin. This is like Kevin putting a top in a machine. Get your hand up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Remember Kevin? Remember Kevin from... Um, Ali Enfield, a moody teenager. Whoa, 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 you're breaking. I don't care. You know, you can just hold it. No one will have to get up there. No, you've got to put it, put it down like that. And then you put that in there like that. Done. Put the tap on like that. And then you do that. And then we'll see. Oh, we got a red light, but it doesn't matter because I'm fed up now. What's in that? Is that already? Punk. That's already, that is already a better beer. How did you get that? I can see, it's already a better beer than the Pogo. Yeah, but at this time of night, beer's beer. Right, let's switch it over again. There's definitely, I swear, there's definitely still beer in there. Without a shadow, without a shadow of a doubt. Pull the wire out. Just tug it. Ooh. Are we straight? Without a shadow of a doubt, if I got a pair of scissors. Sorry, did you wash the craft beer? No. I, I was so busy. I'm such a. I'm so busy. Um, I, I haven't watched it. Stephen Gerrard, really good. Kathy Burke. Who's Kathy Burke? There's Perry. There's Kevin. She was Perry, apparently. Perry, Kevin and Perry. She was Perry. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Patterson. She used to say apparently. Jack Duckworth's in. Jim, my Vida has told me to stay away from you, young man. Uh, 90s Loud Rep Rangers and Amaraso. So I so pop the plastic lid off and see. Nah, there's no way you can. Kim. Get a knife right, Dad. Molly, let's go. Molly, wait. Where's Kim? Come on, Kim. Come and say goodbye. Kim's... I'll turn it this way. Coming in. Kim's going back to Italy now. Um, it was really great to have her for the last 10 days. It was great to have her on the feed on Friday. Did you like it? Yeah, it was amazing. Thanks for having me. Great travel. Enjoy your travel, Thanks back. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no worries. Mel's taking her to Cardiff. She's getting on a National Express. And then she's flying... From Bristol. There we are. Everyone's saying, Kim, hey. Bye. Oh, Avaradasi. Arrivederci. So. That means goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing lady. There we are. Um, safe travels. Thank you. Uh, oh, they're on about this thing. Don't puncture. Bye. Safe fright. Safe you. fright. Bye. Yeah. See you later, Kim. Bye. See you all again soon. Uh, see you again soon. Yes. Might come over in September or Do. October. Yeah. Do it. Do it now. Enjoy, Kim. Safe flight. Bye, Simon. Thanks for everything. See you later. No worries. There we are. Kim's uh, Kim. Italian. Simon's not, not Simon's strong point. Safe travels. Travis is saying safe travels. Yeah. 
This thing's doing something weird. It's like... I'm sure this. I don't know. Alan Mead says, say fight, flight, Kim. Simon, if you're going to live, you can pop a plastic thing out. Oh, can you? Right, I'm going to go and get a knife. Back now. Annabelle, you going in the car as well? Yeah. Good girl. Do you know the way? No. Are you going to be able to pull up Kim's suitcase in the car? Yeah. It's a long road. Remember that? Rambo? I think you're going on holiday. I don't know. Okay. 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 Bloody broke the knife! It's blunt anyway. Yeah, I was right. I'm going to ruin my bar. Look. Personally, now that feels empty. That feels empty now. Feels empty. I knew that there was beer in there. I could just tell. How did the machine not realise that there would be a left in the top it's it's a little bit maybe it was a pro I, I, it's the only time i gotta be honest yeah leah miles exactly maybe it was a problem with the top i think it was a problem with the top um i've never had this problem before the machine's in trouble people are saying the machine's in trouble um, I've never had a problem with this before. Um, we'll just live with it, I suppose. But I'm glad I got the beer out because it's my beer and, you know, I paid good money for it. You know, it's, what was that? A third of a pint? You pay, what, well, you can pay a pound or two these days in the in the pubs for a third of a pint, apart, especially craft beer bars. And they're not... I mean, let's be fair, it's a two litre, you know, it's a two litre bottle, isn't it? With a different end on it. I mean, I mean, it's not rocket science. We're not talking rocket science here. That, without a shadow of a doubt, is a two litre, you know. Years ago, you'd screw the top off that and just pour it in your glass. I mean, I'm not, I'm not 
overly dissing the machine here, but um, I suppose it's a little bit disappointing. That beer is nice though. Um, what do I think of the F1 at Silverstone? That last lap. I was like, where's Max? Where's Max? He's coming. Max is coming. He's coming. God, he missed out. <laughs> uh, it looks like the old Tango Range bottles, yeah. Um, no pressure left in the top. Um, Simon, I am a new to YouTube young man, but are you a pub landlord in your everyday life? You seem to be very passionate about all things be a young man. Jack Duckworth. Um, I work in the beer industry um, as a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, <gasps> pardon me, talking about beer. And I'm very passionate. <laughs> and I got the hiccups right now, but I'm very passionate. I really enjoy it. Um, I got the house to myself. They've all gone to Cardiff to drop Kim off to the coach station. So, um, I'm on my own. I'm on my own. It's quiet. It's a quiet house. Boxing. I've never watched mixed martial arts. Never watched it. Quick go for a pee in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Spitfire Callum. How are we doing? Make the most of a quiet house. It's beautiful. Let's have a listen for one second. Ah, nice. The cat's away all day long. Get the water out. Meow. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the cat. The cat. <laughs> <laughs> joking, I'm only joking. Uh, rugby League or Rugby Union, Gareth Stevenson. Rugby Union, definitely, definitely Rugby Union. Um, love a free house when... Mrs. Brent's gone away. Ah, oh, it is a, it is amazing. It's very different, isn't it? Um, my feeling about YouTube, and I could be very wrong. The big streamers use it as a funnel to buy merch. I don't know. I don't know. When this stream is over, Simon will be able to do the three Ps. Pizza pills that never Um nil nil full time. Really? Extra time and penalties in the Brentford Fulham game? Uh, are we going straight to Pen Smog Monster? Um Oh penalties, I see. Um Simon like a naughty schoolboy. <laughs> Brilliant. Blooming out, Jack Jenkins Jenkins. I'm not like that. God. Extra time. Get the Jameson out, lad, while you can. Like milk, innit? Like nectar. Put a, put a teat on the end. On the bottle. Um, Simon, after the stream, change all the locks. For <laughs> I am a carpenter. I am a carpenter. Has anybody gone for one of those smart locks? I've been thinking about it. Has anybody invested in one of those smart locks for the front of their house? I am thinking, only a thought, only a thought, it's not like a done deal, but I'm thinking about a smart lock. I'd like to come in, buzz my phone on the front door, boop, and come in. And then you can get rid of your keys. All the keys I would need then is um, just a car key. And some people could open their cars with their phones. So... I mean, shouldn't it be a fingerprint? Yeah, just use the phone. Use the phone to get in your house. Uh, my cousin has one where she uses her phone to open the door. But what if you lose your phone or the phone dies? The fo I get that. Travis Wilson, Brentford, Fulham, extra time. Cool, thank you very much, Travis. Oh, Travis, um, did you see the beers? 
I uploaded an Instagram video with the beers. Um, happy days. And that's one more thing to go wrong. Oh, I love all this tech. I've got to be honest, Paul's beer reviews. I'm a massive techie. I am a massive, massive techie. Um, I'd love, I'd love a, a, a boop. Right, Simon, as a security expert, you can open them up from the outside because if they fail, you use a nine volt battery from the front under the cover to open them. Ah, right. Okay, so, so no, no mobile phone to open my front door. Carry on with the old metal key. <laughs> until, until they come up. It's a bit like the old double glazing. Um, Mark, you're a security expert. It's a bit like the double glazing where they used to have the beading on the outside. And people just used to knock the beading off, take the glass out and bang, you were in the house. They could be in a house in 30 seconds. Ah, my lock has the battery compartment inside the house on the door. It's not outside. Ah, Brian, the beer's not. Ah, right, okay. So, the battery compartments are inside the house on, on the newer locks. So, I would like that. I would like that. That would be for me the next stage. Um, Simon, they still have double glazing now with the bead on the out. No way! They still have beading on the outside. I would never, never buy, never buy double glazing with a bead on the outside. What is that all about? That is just insane. Are we getting so lazy we can't carry a key? James Webber, good point. Good point. But I am an absolute minimalist. I am an absolute minimalist. I don't want, if there's anything extra in my house that I don't have to have, I'll take it down the tip. I'm one of these people. The neighbour across the road, unfortunately, she passed away. She's, the family, they've been in there a month and it's a terraced house. It's not a big house. All right, they're pensioners, they're elderly doing it because they were all old people. They've only just managed to get upstairs. And that's not going in the rooms downstairs, the corridors. They've only just managed to clear stuff out of the corridor. She was a hoarder. She was a hoarder. And they've cleared the corridors so they can get to the front door of the bedrooms upstairs. And they can get to the doors of the rooms downstairs. For me, that's my worst nightmare. That is my absolute worst nightmare. I will throw away anything. Any, my rule is, my rule is, if it haven't been touched for six months, it goes in the bin. Because if you haven't touched it in six months, the likelihood is that you're going to throw it, use it again, is minimal. Absolutely minimal. So I, I take it down the dump. I chuck it in the, I chuck it in the car, take it down the dump. Gone. Dump. Dump. Recycling centre. Get, get shot of it. I'm a minimalist. So, <laughs> 25 bottle openers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I know. And all the glasses in the cupboards and stuff. This is for sure. This is my, this is my setup. This is my setup. If I didn't have a studio... Would I have 25 bottle openers? No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, a kingdom for a bottle opener. A trip to the tip is therapy. Shane W. Cool. Anyway, going back to it. Uh, Wanda's a hoarder. She had all sorts of shite in the loft when I moved in. Got rid. Um, be a wonder. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Um... If you have a Renault Citroen or a Peugeot, uh, you need to work out the algorithm for the VIN on the windscreen and you can make a key. Re well, this is it. This is it. 
There's an access panel on the front. A battery can be put onto it if the battery or the lock fails. So you can still get in. Ah, right. I'm off now. Have a good night. Leah, thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope it's not because I called. <laughs> I'm saying I'm, I'm not a hoarder. And some of you are like, oh, well, maybe well, I like collecting stuff. And <laughs> hopefully I've not caused any offence. If I've caused any offence, my apologies. But um, the reason why I would, I would like not carry keys <laughs> is because I'm a minimalist. What did Steve Jobs, and this is my ideal, he didn't even have any furniture. He just sat on the floor. Steve Jobs sat on the floor. He had nothing, nothing in his house. And um, um, that's, 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 uh, that's probably my, you know, okay, I might have a chair for myself and chair for the wife okay i might keep my sofa but um yeah i'm a minimalist i would anything that don't get used for six months goes over the tip um i have enough nails to build a fort james <laughs> brilliant um so for the back fence though all have his diad Yeah. So, um, where are we? 380 likes. Can we do 400? Can we do 400 likes tonight? That would be absolutely amazing. Um, 382. Um, complete minimalist, yeah. Hate clutter. Yeah, I just, just can't, um, can't deal with it. So, 384. A minimalist with so many bottle openers, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's for show. This is for show. I get sent bottle openers by breweries, and I'm like, oh, I'll keep this one, I'll keep that one. Yeah, so maybe, you know, I got a place for them here, though. I got a place, all these bottle openers. Right, we're 12 likes away. 12 likes away from 400 likes. Let's hit the like button. I hate full cans in the fridge. <laughs> Oh, James Weber, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Uh, it feels great to throw stuff out. Good for your mind. Uh, you should have seen how many bottle openers you used to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had about a million. I threw them all away. Favourite God, God's own atheist. Um, Favourite Saison, Simon. Favourite Saison? Um, you know, that's a difficult one. There's so many different Saisons out there. Um, it's one of the classics. One of the kind of like the, the Belgium. Is the... Um, the one with the woman with the... the she's got like a, a, a headpiece on from Belgium. Classic beer. Pardon me. Saison du Pont is a good one. Um, Class, she's got a headpiece on. Um, I can't think of the name. Quite a long name for a for a beer. Um, I think beer beer hooligans reviewed it recently. Beer yeah, as soon as as soon as someone says it, I'll be like, yeah, that's the one. Um, what was the what was the name of that? Burgoyne, the Duchess, the Duchess de Burgoyne. Is it that? Is that a beer? It is. Is that the name of the beer? The just the. The Duchess de Bourgogne. You know, um, that's a Flanders red. <laughs> not even a Saison. It's not even a Saison. Um, Duchess de Bourgogne, yeah. Um, I really, I, okay, it's not, a, it's not a Saison, but I really, really like that beer. I love that beer. Um, I think Beer Hooligans reviewed that recently. But I love that. I absolutely love that beer.
it'd be a hooligan with my wind like that. I should have had my steak well done. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. Oh, I shouldn't have had that extra round of onion rings. <laughs> um, I did review. I know. Keeping tabs on you. I'm keeping tabs on you, my friend. Um, Simon, did you manage to get some the guard triple? Um, I went on. I went on their website, Mac, and then I had to go out for the day. And then, and then I, went, I, I was going to come back. I was going to order some, and then I just, I just forgot. I forgot all about it. I, I was on their website. I had to go. I, I, where did I go? I went somewhere. I've had a lot of days out recently. Um, I, I've been to um, Ross on Y. I can't remember. What, I've been been elsewhere as well. SF Gilly. All right, Simon. How's it going? I'm all right. I'm all right. How's it going? Uh, it might be a little ripe in the bar there, so I uh, open the window in the back door, can barely see you through the haze. Always a red, I'm on my own. I am a well, you're watching, you're watching, but I've got the whole house to look, look, there's no one. <laughs> I can, I can shout and I can do what I like. <laughs> look, it's empty in there, it's empty. Hello! Can anybody hear me? <laughs> I'm on my own. <laughs> Let's have a party. <laughs> Just so, what? Just so, go. <gasps> don't start. Don't start me with that rubbish. Don't start me with that rubbish. Can't Simon can pee out the wind. <laughs> Poo in the garden, pee in the garden. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, what's a bypass? Get ba Babe Station on the tally. Oh, the reflection. Can you imagine? Jack, can we get away with it? There's a little bit of the tally there. Hang on. There. There's a bit of the telly there. Checking we get a bit of, um, you know, we get a bit of something going on in that corner of the telly. Uh, hello from Kentucky in America. Uh, what are the best English, Scottish, Irish beers that I should try? Been drinking the Germans and Belgian recently. I want to move to the island beers. English, Scottish, Irish beers that I should try. <laughs> Ugh. Cloud water. Um, Verdant. I'm being lazy now, aren't I? Just, just picking the best ones. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, Glen Averick. I did a collaboration with Glen Averick. I'm just looking at a tin over there and just reminding me, Glen Affleck. Oh, there's loads of loads of beers in the UK. Put in um top ten beers in the UK and and um and, and get some get some beers in for the UK. Overtone Brewing Company. Um What's that brewery in Ireland? With the white cans. They brew some really good beer. Double <laughs> Double Diamond, yeah, the old double diamond. Um, beer Hut, of course, Guinness, Whiplash, 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 Whiplash Brewing Company, um, fantastic beer, Whiplash. Finished beer is incredible. Vocation, good, really good, Vocation. Um, I'm a minimist, if I get rid of one there, that should make me really minimal. Um, Hillstown Beer, Whiplash, Northern Monk. Brilliant, Jenkins, 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 uh, Northern Monk. I've still got beer everywhere with this top that I've broken open, and I got we out. I go for a we out the back, we out the back. Here we go, we out the back.
Brian, what a go fun. How about Back, everyone. Isn't that much easier than climbing the stairs? Isn't that a lot easier than climbing the stairs? Are you? That's taking care of. How nature intended. Really disappointed in playoff final. Oh, do you know? Isn't it funny how the. Um, well, Alan Mead, yeah, well, that's it, yeah. Yeah, I kind of named for myself. Um, isn't it funny how the semi finals were really good, you know? Isn't it funny how the semi finals were really good? Oh, have they really. Fulham. Fulham a Cardiff's bogey team. Absolute bogey team. Fulham won that. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I tell you what. <clears throat> if Brentford are in the championship again next year, they've won the league. They, they will romp it. Next year, they will absolutely romp the league, Brentford. They'll probably go unbeaten all year, I think. I just can't see. I can't believe. Fulham are, I mean, they're, they're all right. But they were nothing like... Nothing, for me, nothing like... Uh... They're Brentford's too, I see. Um, Fulham, Cardiff game was weeks ago. It was last week, wasn't it? Coventry and Cardiff will go up next season. David Brent. Coventry City. Fan, they're gonna they're gonna smash it next year. Absolutely, I think I've watched a lot of Coventry. They got a great young side. They're already Barnsley survived. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they really are gonna do well, Coventry. I watched a lot of them last year. They got a young side. They're gonna do terrifically well. I remember Coventry. God, when I was at, at, kind of teenager and young 20s, Coventry City, they were a massive club. Massive football club, Coventry. <laughs> uh, they need a new stadium, yeah. Do any of you watch Formula One? Yeah, I watch, um, I watch a lot of Formula One. A lot of Formula One. Kind of, I was a big Jensen Button fan. I think when he, when Jensen retired, a lot of my kind of Formula One kind of interest just faded a little bit. Big curry or steak and chips. Uh, ooh, big curry. Michael Summers, I go for a big curry over steak and chips. Yeah, all day, every day. 
I hope Sunderland will do something next year. Huge fan base and just a letdown. Um, two more likes to 400. Can we do 410? 410 likes. Hit the like button. 410 likes. Let's do it. Let's see how we get on. And Alan Mead. Good as gold, Alan Mead. Um, putting the membership up. Membership year for... If any of you want to become a member of the channel and become a member, hit Alan Mead's link. That'd be great. Um, AM, Hamskin, yeah. The Lafay Beer Reviews, brown people have called them racist. Um, lefty. Uh, Wanda is accidentally pickled. Is she be Wanda? Is she drinking? Cool. James Rever. Uh, we did top the away following in League One last year. Um, Steve is saying, is there anybody from York or Yorkshire in the house tonight? Come on in. Comment. Anybody from Yorkshire or York tonight? Neil is asking what time will this go to? Uh, where are we now? 10 o'clock. Another hour. I think another hour tonight. Um, viewership's fading. Beers by Josh is from York. Love Yorkshire. Lord's Brewing Company from Yorkshire. Brilliant. Um... Darlington in York or New York. Midnight. It's not much going on tonight, to be honest. I mean, we've got a, quite a good viewership, but it's quite quiet. It is quite quiet tonight. Bansley. Oh, is a red? Is in Bansley. Yeah, they stayed. Bansley stayed up. I watched that. That I watched um, Football Focus on the BBC, I think. Can we get a boot? <laughs> Kai and the, um, I, I'm not going to, you know, at the end of the day, this is an international stream. Um, I like everybody from everywhere. Um, I can't be the, boo the Newcastle lot. I'm not going to do that. I might have a punk now in a minute on the machine. On a game, Simon, how did we do How we did that, I'll never know. Oh, brilliant. Our, our Bansy stayed up. Absolutely terrific. Really good. Um, Faith for Chris Roll, Monster Munch, Pickled Onion. But any Chris Roll, to be honest. Ah, fair play. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. New York is 600 miles away. Simon, young man, I think it's impressive what you do on this platform. Not only are you passionate, you're a cracking young man. I'm having a lovely time here. Jack Duckworth, amazing, thank you very much. I do like Mr. Hooligan, but don't like some of his smearers because it's so cheap what they say. Why do you say that I don't like him? Um, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough. Um, I went through my own stage early on. Um, shot, 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 says Jenkins. Not a fan of the triple hazy then, Simon. Looks terrible. They've ruined the hazy family. You're on enough of the YouTube politics. Well, yeah, Jenkins has just said it then. Um, I went through my own bit of schmiz on YouTube about eight years ago. Um, nearly packed in because of it all. Let it get to me. Um, and it was basically other beer channels. It was nobody else but other beer channels that was that were, like, really getting to me and really affecting me. And, being really like, oh, just, just, um, 
I'm talking eight years ago now, not now, not now, eight years ago. Just, it's like a, like a, a race to the top. Um, and I can see where the beer hooligan is. I can see, I can see the situation he's facing. And I personally think, and I'm not going to talk about it too much tonight, it's just down to the fact that for the channel of his size, he's doing tremendous growth. He's got tremendous growth in the channel. Uh, Simon was Lee Russell. The Canadian bloke could cause you grief as he has a huge ego problem. Um, beer hooligan, yeah, that was it. That was it. The whole situation was awful. Absolutely awful. You're almost on 10,000, 40,000 now, Simon. Almost 10,000 sims since the Stone Crow opened. Yeah. Nearly 10,000 subs since the Stone Crow opened. It's been amazing. It's been absolutely fantastic. It really has. Um, thank you all so much, very much for your support. But yeah, it's, it's basically growth. If someone's doing really well... Yeah, watch the Lee Russell video. Yeah, um, I can't say too much. You might come on and like um, the ghost of Lee Russell. You might come back and like he was that man was blown. Yeah, girl. I did threaten. I did threaten to like eat him with a knife and fork. <laughs> it wasn't all one way, you know. I did. I did hit back at him like. Oh, Fucking pass! Come on, come on! You know it was a bit like a bit like that type of thing, um, and I've learned I've learned not to indulge. If you indulge, if you like, if you start doing all this, come on, I'll come down here, I'll smash you in type of thing. If you start doing that, then then once you indulge in it, um, you're knackered basically. You're absolutely knackered. Um, so the best thing to do is just like. I do a lot of smile. I call it smile and wave. Smile and wave. <laughs> That's what I do these days. Smile and wave. Smile and wave. Um, just get on with it. You just learn. You just learn to get on with it. Um, you can't please everybody. You'll never, ever please everybody. Um, you'll, you'll always find people that... Um, Self-preservation. Yes. Self-preservation. Send Jack Duck with over the sorting mouth, yeah. Um, so I think that's what you know, and this is to this is to any new stroke young channel, not just beer, anything, mobile phones, video games, <laughs> any channel that's starting on YouTube, don't try and. And this is just my little personal kind of incentive to you to carry on. Don't try and please everyone. You will never, ever please everybody. Um, do it for yourself. Do it for your passion. And hopefully you get some viewers. And stick, stick, stick with that. Yeah, enough said, it'll set them off. Yeah, yeah, no more, no more. Um, um, I was so disheartened when I came onto YouTube. Uh, we didn't know many people on here, and I got slated for no reason. Um, really, it's you know, people who need to f find work. Yeah, um, Lord's Brewing Company. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a funny place. It's a real funny place, but... I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Uh, you can have new channels with tens of thousands. And if you go live, they're lucky to get 100 views on their live. Yeah. I mean, I've noticed that with lives with, with YouTubers. I've noticed that, that um, you go live and... You think they're going to get so many, like, so many viewers, you know, having that many thousand subscribers. They're going to, they're going to have a terrific amount of, like, live viewers. And then they don't. 
And that, that's like, puts me, like, I think, wow, what's the point, you know? But on the positive, some great friends and great people. Yeah, yeah, John, met you over the last few months. You're a top fella, absolutely top fella, good guy. Where's the best place to go in Wales? Simon Sloan. Um, Cardiff, Tenby. Tenby's a pretty pl good place to go drinking. Not particularly for craft beer, but just for a good night out, I suppose. Ronan, right. Whoa, Simon the Pub is looking unreal at night. Lovely atmosphere. What a journey this channel has been. Hello from Donegal. Hello, Donegal. In, oh, Donegal in Ireland. How are we doing? Do not forget the basics, please. Drinking beer is about socialising. This is what I did learn of English people. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I would be well worried if I had... Yep, be a hooligan. Um, yep, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and be impartial with like some of this stuff I'm reading. Agree, lords have become good friends through this. You can make friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. That whole thing last week. Kind of like. You can make, of course you can make, I've made friends, I've made John, Scott, Mark, Rob, James, met all of these people through YouTube and, and last week was just me kind of like, just a little bit angry with like, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not even going to get into it. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'm not even going to get into it. I'm not, I'm not going to... Just stopping myself. I've... I haven't had enough to drink. <laughs> Simon, since I'm a little drunk, that's... Uh, be the grandfather's... Grand... Grappa. Oh, Grappa! Grappa's strong. Sorry, the beer is finished. Is finished. What is a regional alcohol that Wales produce? Scotland whiskey, Ireland has poutine. Wales, I, 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 you know, just nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing. Oh, maybe mead. Is mead. Could you say mead is Welsh? I don't know. Maybe a bit of mead or something. Yeah. Right, what are you all drinking? What are you all drinking tonight? Islanders whiskey. Uh, Simon, what? Simon Mullier, um, can I answer that maybe next week? I'll remember it and I'll answer it next week, but um, I'm moving on from the chat of other uh, beer channels. Someone's drinking a, oh, Jack's drinking a Francis Canner. Water by the bedside locker. Smog Monster's drinking a Desperado from the top in the compact. Punk IP in a can. I'm going to be drinking a Saison made with honey and lavender after work. Owen agrees with Beer Wonder. Uh, Dave Red, I'm not here to amuse you, young man. <laughs> Copperberg, Cherry Rum Coke, Brown Water, Keys Barley Wine. Oh, I bet that's good. I had some lovely whiskey the other day, Paul Allen, uh, Nia's drinking vodka, lemonade from black currants. Jenkins is taking it easy with a Siren Lumina 4.2% Session IPA. 
Camden Town to the pub. Gingerbread Milk Stout. Always oh, a red drinking tea. Saving a tub for Friday night. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. Brian's drinking whiskey. Water tonight for Adam Eat. Well, yeah, perfect, perfect. Simon, do you enjoy a pint of pedigree? Yeah, it's Jack Duckworth. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. 2-0 Fulham. 2-0 Fulham. I did just find that. I just... I mean, they're not a bad side. I mean, it's just... It's amazing how they bounce straight back up. I hate Fulham. They just don't come up to go back down. Come up to go back down. Yeah, yeah, I, I just I can't see. Unless they spend another 100 million, I can't see how they're going to stay up. Right, I need some snacks. Guys, comment snacks. I'm going to go and get, I think, some Doritos Chili Heat Waves if I have some. Tell me what snacks you have. Comment. Pork scratchings, Walker's cheese and jalapeno. I had some of them last night. And then on a diet, deluxe ridge cut, sea salted. Sadly, you know, this one's the time players now. I'm possibly not having another chance like this going up. David Brent, yeah. Um, I re I couldn't see. I re David Brent. I couldn't see a way past Brentford tonight. Couldn't see a way past Brentford. I thought all night long. It's it's like. Um, they just got past Swansea. Just got past Swansea. And it's like they, um, they bottle it right at the last. Right at the last. They absolutely bottle it. Um, hey, Simon, have you ever thought about holding a raffle with a winner, drinking a drink with you down at local? Only had four meals today. Oat flakes, candy oat flakes. Pepperoni pizza for John. Snack for me. You're my snack tonight. <laughs> I love it. Chocolate covered pretzels. Um, I love you too. Uh, no dip? Nah, nah, just get them down you. Drinks. That's the way, Simon Sloan. Snacks, come on, what are you eating? I'm hungry tonight. I'm on my own, I'm hungry. Chocolate covered ants. KFC Impossible Burger. Smog Monster's off. See you later, Smog, Smog Monster. Work in the morning. Made my evening, or along with the chat. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Yeah, I haven't had my tea yet. Little Musgrave. I can hear. Yeah, she's obviously hungry after her three stouts. Cool. Go on, get the crisps up, Wanda. I'm having carrots. Carrots? Wow. 
I just finished my third, third bag of Cheetos, says Simon Muller. Battered Gabby and Frog's Legs. Favourite disco song? Double bag of what's it? I don't think this eating is going down too well. Our viewership's going down, but I mean, I'm hungry. This is life, right? Poor beer reviews, cut some cheese. Jenkins, I'm having a bit of um I'm having a bit of bit of carbohydrates or whatever these are. Hmm. That's a way to get the viewers up, Jenkins, Jenkins. Come on, Brentford. It's 2 1. A minute to go. Tell you what, that will be Brentford's biggest ever achievement if they can turn this round. Yeah. Oh. Two one, full of a backup. Two one. The haunted coachman. Mel has taken Kim to the airport. No, to Cardiff, and then Kim's gonna get a bus to Bristol Airport. National Express. Hmm, yeah. Me too, Paul's being reviewed, yeah. Yeah. If Brentford can hold on to some of them players, they will go straight up next season. No problem, straight up. Oh. Near. Uh, I had a garlic kebab woke up, feeling hungover because of all the de dehydration. Mmm, these ones. My two-year-old son won't sleep oh, so high. Yeah, one hot and spicy, two cheese and one cool original. Doritos, love them.
just having a couple of crisps and then we're done. Done. Good to go. It's funny, isn't it? You, you do a four hour live stream. And someone complains because you, you you get a little bit hungry along the way. I mean, it's not as if I can go, Hey, Joey Tribbiani, come and take over. Or, you know, Ross from Friends or whatever, you know. Come and take over. It's just me on my own. I need to eat. I need to pee. I need to drink. It's human nature. They did. Or oh, some fried cheese, you love that. Yeah, I love cheese. Be yourself, Simon Sloan. Be yourself, yeah. I mean, exactly that. Um, Right, last beer. Will I? Uh, might be. I hope this brew dog top. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Like that. Bang, like that. Right, I'm going for the brew dog. The brew dog top. Let's have a look. See if it's any better. Green light on the machine. Ah, it's much better. That is much better. I mean, you've been watching all night, some of you. You'll realise that, I mean, some of the beer was all the way down there. And you'd have a glass full of foam. This, is, this punk IPA is much better. Right, let's spin it around. Get it back to normal. Right, let's turn that by there, and then that. There we go. There we are, back to normal. So, it's an improvement. Uh, I'm going to go again. How about the COVID? Do you think it is will be normalised soon, Simon? Uh, v A. Uh, ham skin. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is going to be the graph in the world is still going up. It's unbelievable. This this thing is like the graph in the world is still flying up. I think we're going to be with this for a few years, a good few years. Right. Sip a beer and then um, my next break, my next trick is the toilet again. It's really caught up me now. Well, saying that, I've drunk two litres of that. And... Yeah, be a wonder, gonna get married next March. Oh, blimey. I, I, I hope, I wish you all the best. Fairly new to drinking craft beer. Did you try the Earth Station Oatmeal Pale? It was with beer back in June, my favourite beer of the year so far. Ah, uh, yes! That was good. That was a good beer. I remember the Earth Station, the Oatmeal Pale. Good mouthfeel, creamy, rich. Yeah, great stuff. I go for a pee in the garden. It's going to be in any minute now. It's going to be in. So I'm going to have a quick pee in the garden before she catches me.
I bet she comes in while I'm up here. Right, I'm back. Hundred and ninety-eight people Tuesday night live. Um on the under on the undergrowth, not the underwear, the undergrowth. Um Right, it's half past nine on a Tuesday. Two hundred and seven people tuned in. Um, can we do 450 likes? 450 likes. Hit the like button. We've done really well tonight. That, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be good. It's going to be good if we can crack this. 450 likes. Hit the like button down below. Jack Andrews watched my first ever Punk IPA review. Ten years ago. Unbelievable, isn't it? Hello, raining on your parade way. I haven't seen you in ages on the channel. Nice to see you again. How's it going, dude? Uh, fingers in mouth after peeing in the garden. Uh, I drink loads of coffee. Ah, oh, there he is. Um, I think the biggest pee take, uh, take is soccer. Yeah. Um, some people firmly believe charity begins at home. Um, where is Joe Biden's dentures? Simon, what's your favourite stout? Um, easily accessible from the shelf. Get it from Tesco. Haunted Coachman, I'm going to give you that one. Not my all-time favourite of all time. Bling, bling, stout. But something that I can go... Right, I'm going to the shop. I'm going to grab a stout. Would be Four Pures Oatmeal Stout. It will never be the best stout in the world. But it's a stout that is easily available to me. And sometimes I like easily available to me. 438 likes. Can we do 450 likes? Hit the like button down below. Do I think punk has deteriorated in quality? Um, let's have a try. It's really quite malty these days. You get you get a lot more malt than you do hops. It's a completely, completely different beer. I just I just I said it earlier about kind of entertaining the kid. I'm 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 just I think I'm I'm gonna draw the line, I think. Perfect draft opinion, perfect draft machine opinion, please. Had it for a little while, seemed really good. 
really good. We are eight likes away. How's the stadia? Norman the Leech. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm playing the new game now called um, Far, not Farco, it's something like Farco, but it's brilliant. Little detective game, it's really good. Better than the sub. The blade's the best machine I've had. The blade is the best machine I've ever because it's just so beautiful. To look at it, it's an amazing, beautiful machine. Go for it, Alan. Give it a try. See how you get on with it. The perfect draft with three kegs. 390 euros. Right, we are five. We are five likes away from 450 likes. Can we hit the like button down below? Get 450 likes for tonight's live stream. We're, we're trying. We're trying our very best to kind of like... Just like, love the show. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Four hundred and fifty-one likes. Thank you all so very much for the likes. It's amazing. Kona, yes, Kona. What a game! What a fabulous little game. Kona it is. I'm just enjoying it. It's just. It's really good. It's really. I'm really enjoying Kona. Really enjoying that game. It's a simple little kind of games that got really complicated these days. You've got to be online, you've got multiplayer, you got to pay extra for all this. And Conan is just a fabulous little computer game. Conan Beard is great. <laughs> Uh, can you give Dave Nash a shout out? I'm sat in the next room, so it will appear on his phone. Dave Nash! Hello, Dave Nash. Shout out to you. Um, Simon, do you like cider? Never heard you talk about it. No, 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 no. I, I'm not a cider fan at all. I'm not a cider fan at all. I just, just, I, I just can't deal with um, cider. I'm just just don't like it at all i just much prefer beer um i got too it came up my nose too much as i was a teenager getting used to alcoholic drinks cost three liter bottles of Stonehouse with a or white lightning was the order of the day and i remember it coming up my nose and carbonating and fizzing and uh, it was an awful feeling and then next the week later you do it all again until i got to the point where I couldn't drink cider anymore, and I just drank beer. Jack Duckworth is asking, what does Stone the Crows mean? Um, it's a little bit like whoops-a-daisy, um, or oh my goodness, or oh my god, or you know. Um, it was an old version of that. Um... Stone the Crows, you know, what a great beer, Stone the Crows, you know, that type of thing, when you're shouting and... Right, here's my mate, Hop Scene, just tuned in, uh, tuned in for last orders. I've opened Huckaback from my local brewery, Salt Beer Factory, got it at Morrison's Huckaback. Can I get that beer in my local Morrison's, um, Rob? Hop scene, or is that just available in the kind of regional Morrisons that you have up there? So lots of people are saying hi, Hop scene. Hey, hi, Hop scene. How you doing, mate? Hello, Becky. How you doing, Becky? Um, what's your favourite bog standard macro lager, Simon? My favourite bog standard macro lager. <laughs> Anything really, everything really. What's that, Mom? No. Um, they're back. Everyone's saying they're back. You've got to be quiet now. Stop shouting. <laughs> uh, 
Um, why is it now beer festival nowadays? People run for the bar and all the open out of the bar isn't going to anywhere. Um, um, what happened to the road? This house close. How did you get? You done well? Long easy left, long easy right? Just a couple of cars in the bushes, but they'll be alright. Oh, Mel and Mel had to, there was a road close in Dennis Powys. Yeah. Mel had to go through the lanes to get to Cardiff. First time, she's never been through the lanes in the day. Never I mind the... Once, but uh, everyone's car, the lights are so bright. It's ridiculous. So RIC need to sort that out. Did you but like RIC, it? Oh, you see these big Range Rovers, don't you? With the big lights, and they're like they're almost like they're like LEDs or something shining. It's like it's like you're like this. How am I meant to drive? I can't drive, and and you have to drive. Um, yeah, we might get a Lupo one. So they're the battery. Mark the beer hooligan said there's a speeding ticket in the post. Yeah. Um, Right, Hobson, what is the next beer you are putting on the blade? Well, apparently, um, Rob, Hobson, apparently, um, Beowulf have just got in a load of new torps. Um, not torps, they're called kegs. A load of new kegs to go in the blade. So, I'm fancying at the moment, I think, I think I'm going to get it right, um, Edelweiss, Edelweiss Weiss beer, Edelweiss Weiss beer. I think that would be my next purchase, would be the Edelweiss Weiss beer to go in the blade. So that's eight litres, eight litres of Weiss beer. And that is such an, it's such an easy, like, I'm going to be honest. The Aflagem lasted me three and a half weeks, nearly four weeks. Is seven percent, seven percent ABV blonde. Okay, okay. I went on holiday for a week. I went to Tempe for a week on holiday, so I probably would have drank a little bit more of it. But I just found it a, a bit of a struggle because of the ABV. Yeah, Mel saying it's like secretly high. It's, it's so easily drinkable, but you can get right messy on like a 7% ABV beer. You know, Sunday afternoon, before you know it, you've had four and you're like, what, oh, blimey. You know, the dinner's burning. <laughs> so, um, right, tonight, okay. You're going to bed? Um, Maybe not. I won't be long. Is the dog still out? No, he's in there. I haven't let him out. He's asleep. Oh, can you let him can out? Go on, please. Ta. Oh, you got. Go. go on. And then, um. Come on, then. So, anyway, yeah. Back to this, um, blade thing. Vice beer. Different. Different ball game. Different ball game with a vice beer. I've just got, I've opened Doritos if you want some of these. Oh, this is awkward. Oh. Yeah, watch out. Um, people are saying get to bed. Yeah, I think, I, I'm, gonna, I'm ready, I'm ready, I am ready. Talking to me. Go oh, brush. Oh, oh, no, make sure they're straight. No, not straight down. That's it. No, the door's not straight. No, you just move the wall. There. Um... That's my track of thought now. This stinks, got it everywhere, I can smell it. I had to cut it open. Is there anything in there? Yeah, it's all in here. That was in there? It's in the bar. That? Most of it. No, 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 it's another punk IPA, this is. How much was in there? You want to complain if there was lots? No, I cut it open, I won't complain. I'm like John Rambo, just cut no, it open. I mean, yeah, <laughs> drink it out the keg. There may be something wrong with our machine. Should be pressurising it out. Right, I'm going back to my blade talk now. <laughs> Back to my plate though. Right. So I've covered the the blonde was seven percent, a little bit too strong to session. Um vice beer, on the other hand. Yeah, that's your perfect like lunch. Sunday lunch. I love a beer. 
Sunday lunch time. Oh, that's incredible. Love a Sunday lunch. Dinner time, Mish. Get the vice beer out. I think the vice beer on the plate would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Get a review done. Get the get the review in. Get it on YouTube. And then and then you've got a whole kind of like eight litres of vice beer to to just enjoy, just enjoy and chill. I love beer. I love, I love, I love beer. I mean, I mean, that will never change. That will never change. I promise you. Uh, can you say Bandy is on fire? The yellow. We all love beer, yeah. See Jack Death with Jim and Lana Thompson. Um, Paul's beer reviews. Um, I, I'm going to address this. I'm going to address it. If Hopsine's still watching, I don't want. I don't want to cause too much drama. But um, I've heard this a bit. I've heard this a bit lately. That Hopsine's Jim McDonald or. Duckworth or Jack Duckworth and stuff. Right. Um, I've met Rob on a number of occasions. I've been out with Rob. Me and Rob stayed in the hotel. We've had breakfast together. We've gone out. We've gone out. We've been out drinking. Mal said you take Rob out more than you take me out. That's what my wife just said. Um, we've been. We've had. We have. Me and Rob, me and Rob, we had a giant round of toast. We had about, we had about, I, I sat with Rob and we had about eight rounds of toast for breakfast um, when we stayed in our hotel in London when we went to the beer festival. And I said, of course, of course, and I stayed at your house twice and I can categor categorically, this time of night, I can categorically, I would put my mortgage my car, my house, my wife, I will put everything on saying that Rob from Hobson is not Jack Duckworth and he's definitely not Jim McDonald. Um, I'm not, I'm just, I, I'm not looking to row with, with, with the people who suggested that maybe he is. Um, all I'm saying is that this is my view, this is my view, Rob is absolutely not Jim McDonald and he is absolutely not Jack Duckworth. Um, he's actually a really nice guy. He's a Rob from Hobbs, he's a really nice guy. He, he, I, I've never, he's never said a bad, he's he stuck up for me. He's never said a bad word. All through that kind of um, uh, Lee Russell thing. There was one channel, one channel that stuck by, stuck by me, and that was Hopsin. I categorically said he called me. I tell you what, though, I'll be I'll be absolutely honest, absolutely honest. I drank a bottle of really rare beer, and Rob has always been honest with me on WhatsApp. Always spoke on WhatsApp. I think he basically said, "What did you do that for?" Didn't kind of like call me any silly names or he said, you know, um, he said, that's something I probably wouldn't have done. And he said, what did you do that for? But, but never, ever, never, ever as, as, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, we'll just end it there. For me, for me, Rob is a blooming decent guy. And that's, that's the end of it, end of sports. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. End of sports for me. Rob Hobson, he's not Jack Duckworth. He's not the, um, uh, who's the other, Jim McDonald. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, Jim McDonald. Beer Hooligan is, is saying, Hobson, I have full respect to you after you contact me that time. Um, uh, here we are, Paul Spirus, and um, that's good to hear. Rob, I apologise for any offence caused. Uh, I've not got time or energy to play silly purpose like that. <laughs> yeah. And that's... That's what Rob would say to me. That That is what Rob would say to me, is I haven't got time. Simply, I haven't got time to play silly purpose like that. Absolutely not. 
Right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Back to, back to the beer. So hopefully we've cleared everything up. And, and, and cheers to everybody who's still here tonight. Raise your glass. Cheers to everybody. Let's have some fun. Let's not get bogged down with all that I mean, silly rubbish. Let's, let's have a good drink together. That's what it's all about. Uh, is Francis Can on the blade by Alan Mead? That's a really good question. Is Francis Can on the blade? Oh, wouldn't you love? I'd love, I can't, I can't, oh, I'd love Francis Can on the blade. I really would. I really would love Francis Can on the blade. Blade. Oh, I think that would be That would be one of the kind of kegs that would be sitting on the shelf here after a weekend. That, that would be done, dusted, drank after one weekend would be Francis Canner. Oh, on the blade. Oh, I think I'd be just underneath it like that. <laughs> just enjoying it. Enjoying it, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, brilliant, brilliant, fantastic. Are you looking forward to the Little Beer Festival on Thursday? I'm hoping to see some beer uh see some reviews yes um I, to be honest it's the first i've heard of this little beer festival right now tonight last few hours so i'll be up into little on thursday i mean the last time the last time i went to little for this craft beer festival they had a super they had a super new england ipa it was about one pound 20 i was so stupid for this kind of beer and i and I went into the review thing. Hello, Kenneth Robinson. How are you doing, Kenneth? Thank you for all them wonderful beers in in America, there, California. Um, but I went to I went to little. I had no no kind of expectation. Seventy one brewery. That was it. The seventy one brewery New England IPA. What? A, it was like a pound. It was like one pound, one pound twenty. What a beer for that money. What a beer for the price. It was terrific. So Thursday, pardon me, all them Doritos and beers come in. Um, <clears throat> I got real bad indigestion. Pardon me. Oh my God, Simon, Omnipolo, Zalator, Triple IPA, absolutely perfect. Um, I'll try and find that one. I'll try and find that Omnipolo beer if I can, if it's in the UK. Uh, it'll be a fast I'm pouring on the bar next. A little bit fast I'm pouring on the bar next to fruit and veg. I'm trying to get that. Have I had too much to drink? I'm trying to get that one. I right, hope seen. Little be a vessel. I'm pouring on the bar. Next. So, Sunday. I got it. I got it, Rob. I got it. So, Sunday, you're doing a roast dinner. You're going to be cutting all your fruit and your veg for your Sunday dinner. And you're going to have a few little, you're going to have a few little beers. I'm doing that. They won't be on the blade. <laughs> I'm doing that. Um, you you're gonna be you're gonna be drinking some cans of, of the little um craft beer while you're doing your dinner. Yeah, that's how that's how I've got it. Um Thursday, I'll be there. Look out for the reviews. Uh what was it? The the, the Brave Hop IPA from Loch Lamont was one seventy nine from Little last time. One of my beers of the year so far. Brilliant. Brilliant, cool. Right, it's nearly five to eleven. Nearly five to eleven. Have you got any more kind of? Now's the time. Nearly five to eleven. I'm gonna pack things up at eleven o'clock tonight. Um, if you've got anything more you'd like to say to me, um, please don't go, Simon. <laughs> um, I'm gonna drink this. A couple of minutes to go. Um, right. Lord's Brewing Company, Hopsine, I'd love to meet you sometime after lockdown. 
when are, you, when are you free? Look at that. John from Lord's Brewing Company is saying he'd love to meet you. When are you free? That's nice. I think I think maybe because Lord's Brewing Company is based in Huddersfield, um, I don't know the geography massively, but I think Rob is living in the Saltair area of Yorkshire. So maybe Rob can get a train to Huddersfield and I don't know if the, the, the Lord's Brewing Company tap bag, I don't know if that's walking distance from the train station from Huddersfield, but maybe Rob can go and visit and make a video at Lord's Brewing Company, put it on YouTube and I'll give it a watch. I'll give it a watch, that'd be cool. Cause, um, uh, yeah, there we are, there we are, there we are. John, I'm up for some fine ales sometime. There we are. Job done. So, in the future, look out, because I'm down here in South Wales. I'm a long way away. I'll come, I'll come and see John one day in Yorkshire, but it's far easier for Robert Hobson to nip over and see John and have a few beers with John and, and, and get some video at the, 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 the tap house at Lord's Brewing Company. That'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. I'd watch that. Right, we've got 200 people still tuned in. We've got five minutes to go. Um, we're going to do Friday Night Live. Yeah, we're back. Well, I, I suppose I can plug Friday night. Um, I don't. I, I used to do a lot of the Instagram videos with me walking down the beach. I've had. I've been really busy at the moment. Um, I will. I will get back to kind of advertising my live feeds. What I'm presuming, and I suppose you should never presume in life, is that people have worked out my pattern by now that I do Tuesdays, Fridays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and it's kind of like ah, it's Friday. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. We'll check out Simon or Tuesday. Yeah, we'll check out Simon. Maybe I, I've got into that kind of situation where here we are. Lord's Brewing Company is going to drop Rob an email tomorrow. There we are. Cool. Let's sort that out. Um, I'm presuming people know about these feeds by now, so I don't. Yeah, I don't have to kind of like push it too much. Um, I never wanted my Instagram account to be just about pushing my live feeds, but um, <laughs> pardon me. I needed that, sorry. Uh, yep, we've worked out your pattern. About four peas at least, one in the garden. <laughs> Jenkins, Jenkins, yeah, yeah. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to tell you my plans tomorrow. I'm a carpenter. And I bought a set of curtains that are four inches too short for my windows. <laughs> I went to um, some place called The Range. I've never been to a range before. I went to The Range in Cardiff. Went to this place, The Range, and they had curtains on in the sale. And Mel said to me, I did a, like a 60, 63 inch drop. Will that be all right? And I went, yeah, mm, yeah, I said, yeah, they'll fit, they'll fit. <laughs> Did you take a gun with you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> made me laugh. Um, so I bought the, I, I, I said, yeah, they'll fit, Mel, I'll pay for them. Bought these curtains, they're four inches too, <laughs> too short for the window. So in the morning, this is my plan tomorrow, take the, Take the curtains back to the range, get my money back. And then, um, what am I doing then? I'm going to go to McDonald's tomorrow when the restaurant... Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. Yeah, last day of the whole um, present. The R Rushi... Is it Rushi's gift? Rushi's present? Go out to, to help out or whatever it's called. I'm going to go to McDonald's. Um, I'm going to order an indoor meal <laughs> to sit down so I can get it half price. Um, I'm going to sit down at the table, put it on my rucksack. I'm going to bring it home to the kitchen. And I'm going to review the, the McDonald's half price. I'm going to try and eat every single McDonald's meal. <laughs> ah, 
every, every single one, the main meal. So I'm going to go for like chicken McSandwich, Big Mac meal. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try and eat. I, I just think it's fun because people, people seem to like my cavalry video. People seem to like all of these different kind of weird and wonderful things I'm doing now on the channel. Um, chicken selects are the best in McDonald's. Get it? Yeah! I'm just trying, just, just see how much of this stuff I get. I probably won't be able to, I'm not trying to be, um, what's that guy with the beard? I'm not trying to be, I mean, that guy can eat for, for the world. I'm not trying to be him, but, um, I'll try, I'm going to try something. See if I can, see if I can eat, see if I, I can eat as much McDonald's as I can. And I'm going to title it, of course, for you guys to be able to see and other people to see. Um, half, how to get a half price McDonald's. So I'll, I'll go in there, I'll say, tell them you're sitting down, put it all in your rucksack and then just take it away. Because once you've, once you've paid the half price, that's the deal, you've sealed the deal. You know, you might have had an emergency phone call. You've got to leave, you know, you've got to leave the place quick. So get your food in your rucksack and then off you go <laughs> type of thing. Um, hello, Red Van Man, how you doing? Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. Um, thank you all. So um, don't do this, Simon. I tried a McDonald's burger. Eating comes with only my four double cheeseburgers. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll try it. It's half price. Um, Simon the competitive drinker. Well, you could call me that. Right. It is 11 o'clock. Nearly. 10.59. I'm watching all the comments. It's all saying 10.59. I think I come on a couple of minutes late tonight. So we got about four. Yeah. We'll let we'll, we'll, we'll 11 o'clock. And then we'll say goodbye to everybody, I think. No. I still got beer to drink. Where's the bell? Yeah. It's not very good. What's what's going on in there? It's not very good, is it? Not very good bloody bell. Ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll um Friday night live. See you all Friday night, seven o'clock. Mel'll be there. We'll have a big drink. We got some Brewdog Punk IPA in the top over there. Alan Mead with the last super chat of the night. Good night. See you all Friday. Super night. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate the Stone Crow. I'm in lockdown here, so it's good to be around friends. Lord Brewing Company. Big comment. Loads of loads of energy going to write in this comment. It's by DJX2. Have you ever got a load of listeners to go somewhere... Uh, get the same beers and drink the same beers for a live review. It's new to the channel a little this Friday. Sounds like deal. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. Get 185 people tuned in. If you if you're all if you're all watching, um, shall we try? Should we all try together the little craft beer festival beers? How's that? I mean, I'm not one for plans. <laughs> Just turn up and. Press go on the record button. What about let's all get the um little craft beer festival beers and we'll have a little bit of a drink together. It's last minute, <laughs> it's very last minute because you're all kind of like thank you very much to DJX2, I think it was, who who um who um suggested that. Shall we do that? And tell your friends, tell everybody who you're friends with on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter that you might be interested in that. We'll get some little crisps, some salt and vinegars or something, or some ready salted. I like them little, they're nice, some ready salted. 
and we'll have a bit of a drink. So, see you all Friday night. This is right off the cuff, this is. For the, um, oh, my little five minutes. Oh, five minutes, that's fine. Um, five, we'll see you all Friday for the little craft beer drink along. Stone the Crows. See you all then. Cheers. Where's he? Oh, it's up here. Goodbye.